All right, man, we back. Good fellow sports TV. We in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Appreciate the love, support. Keep sharing the videos, man. Keep, 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 keep sharing them, man. Appreciate that love. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Get you 18% off day, 100% all natural not products. Lost yourselves, foot soaks, bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair part made, and much, much more. Website, promo code description. Get 18% off when you use that promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. We up in here, man. And um, yeah, I told y'all, if y'all catch what caught my video earlier before this one, I was going to go live today, so. Um, I may go live for the Gosvick fight tonight as well. Might be a double live action. Um, but I do appreciate everybody for checking in, man. I do. But we're going to talk about, uh, man, I got the word yesterday, man. I got the word, word that Al Heyman ain't sending nobody over to fuck with Terrence Crawford. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Spence DWI, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about Tank and Gamboa uh, being on pay-per-view. And then they're going to try to put Leo. I heard the Leo Santa Cruz thing may be on pay-per-view as well. One of my subs said Fox pay-per-view. I don't know about that. But uh, let's talk about it, man. Uh, Montel Porter, what's going on? Uh, let's talk about uh, Al. And I heard that. Uh, I had heard this before, but. I heard from the PBC people, I mean, from top ranked people that, uh, that he don't, he not willing to put none of his fighters, uh, to fight Crawford. So, um, you know, when you got people going around here, uh, pushing propaganda saying, oh, Crawford fighting the mean machine. Oh, oh, why didn't he even fight this guy? Why do you don't fight that guy? Well, the major every competition, uh, all the other competition is what premier boxing champions and they being told, um, they can't fight Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? They're being told that they can't, uh, they ain't gonna fight him. They don't believe they got a guy that can beat him. Now that that could be, that could be. We don't believe. You know, we got a guy that's gonna win for sure. But what was told to me is too. Errol Spence is too valuable to PBC to have him lose to Terrence Crawford. That's what was told to me. So with you know Al Heyman saying. Telling Bob Aram, oh, yeah, we're going to do this fight then. We're going to do this fight then. We're going to do it then. All that might be smoke. All that very may all that very may well be smoke. They, they, now, I don't know this for, for a fact. Kobe 2K fan, M MGA, Tierra Dickerson, salute. JW Esports TV, salute. Francisco, uh, salute. I don't know this to be 100% fact, but um, it, it may be a point where, they may never do this fight. All right. This could be, you know, Al Hammond could be pumping all, all the smoke. Uh, it may come to a point where the fight may not happen. And I believe the fight will not happen. I, I hear where people saying that, uh, I hear what people saying, you know, uh, I hear what people saying that, uh, you know, uh, behind the scenes, well, you know, they waiting for Earl to get all three belts and, uh, the fight going to happen. Uh, the fight for show for show gonna happen, and I hear you know people saying that, and that's coming from different people uh, that I trust. But to me, I, I really, th I really think they got bigger plans for Errol Spence as far as moving up to fifty four and fighting some of those guys. And I do believe his ambition, him, him saying Canelo name, I do think they have ambitions on him moving up, fighting Canelo. Now, um, in the near future, I don't know. He got he got to do a lot to get to that point, but. It's to the point where they're not even willing to throw the, the 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 Z team over there. They ain't even willing to throw the D or E team over there. They're not trying to throw no bones out there. And you got guys saying, "Oh, Crawford only fighting the Mean Machine." Ha 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 ha. At the end of the day, why why don't Danny Garcia take the challenge? Why didn't he take the challenge? Because think about this: if Danny Garcia is confident that he's going to knock out Errol Spence, he's confident about that. Remember, he told Gilly the Kid that he got to knock him out. Then we're looking at a situation where it's like, all right, look, we're looking at Earl Spence and Danny Garcia for three for three bills. Earl bringing the WBC IBF, and Danny Garcia stopped Terrence Crawford. That put him in a pound for pound conversation with his resume. He stopped Terrence Crawford. You looking at the biggest fight, the biggest in house fight that PBC possibly can make outside of Manny Pacquiao right now? You looking at Danny and Earl 
for for four belts. I mean, for three belts. And then you put Pacquiao in there. They could be fighting for all four belts at some point point in time. So it, it just don't make no sense where they don't want to. They didn't try to get a guy in a mandatory position. They didn't try to get a guy to go over there and take the belt. At the end of the day, they're trying to ignore and they're trying to really divide boxing up into different networks and make it leagues. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the CFL and then the NFL or the G League and the NBA or the Ch- CBA, the Chinese Basketball League. They really, what I what I heard yesterday, they don't believe Earl Spence can win. And it, it's, it's something that I've been saying for a while. I heard it. I heard the, I heard the coach say it. Uh, could you stop, son? Oh, I hate that I called him. Ah, uh-uh, bye. Go sit down. Should have tied you up outside. Um, but like I said, I heard the coach don't think he can win. I hear PBC don't think he can win. I don't know if Al Heyman sit there and be like, "Oh, watch the fights." Like, well, I don't know if he can win, or though he got people telling him he got Luis the Cubas working with him. Him and Floyd Mayweather are equals. They own it. Sam Watson no boxing. They got other people out there that they hold in a high regard, and I think the consistent the consistent opinion that he's getting back is that Errol Spence don't have no chance to beat Terrence Crawford. And they don't even like, like, keep it real. Now, you could just put, you could put one and one together, okay? This is just a real clarity talk, right? You could put one and one together. Sean Porter was saying, oh, I want to fight Terrence, or I don't know if I want to fight Terrence. I mean, I don't know if it's something me and Terrence got to talk about. Have you heard Sean Porter, you know, really come out and say, oh, come on, Terrence Crawford, let's fight, let's fight. You know why you ain't heard Errol, uh, uh, Sean Porter stay on the Terrence Crawford uh, neck? Because PBC then told him, shut up. Courtney Richard, salute. PBC then told him to shut up. Yup, that's what happened. PBC told uh, uh, Sean Porter, stop talking about uh, 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 Errol Spence. Because I know that it was something that they was, they was discussing. I know that for a fact. I know somebody really close to, you know, PBC at the top. I can tell you the I can tell you the pecking order, but that's not my, for me to say. I can tell you all the pecking orders in name from top to bottom. I can tell you the pecking order, but I know that's that was a conversation that they had. They had that conversation with Team Porter, or they were supposed to have that conversation with Team Porter about fighting Terrence Crawford, Errol, uh, Terrence Crawford and they're not gonna let it happen. See, Dub salute. Now everybody can live in a fantasy world and be like. Oh, Crawford ain't did this, or Crawford ain't did that. If, if that was Jeff Horn that hold that WBO belt, and Jeff Horn say, well, I want to fight Errol Spence. Nigga, J- Errol Spence wasn't even the fought Sean Porter. He would have went over there and took that belt from Jeff Horn. Matter of fact, he probably would have crossed the street and fought Jeff Horn, got the belt, and brought it back. Had that been Manny Pacquiao that held that same held, that, that, that held that very same WBO belt, and Pacquiao was like, well, I want to fight uh, Errol Spence, you got to cross the street. Errol Spence will cross the street versus Manny Pacquiao. Now, the difference is Pacquiao bring a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But I feel that he just is dangerous, especially with the Keith Thurman. After the Keith Thurman fight, if he liked that again, he just is dangerous, but there's money there. Errol Spence, Errol Spence is clear about $20, $30 million probably fighting uh, Pacquiao. At least 20 He had clear 20 But you know what? You got so, people, so many people that have been pimped. You know, they talk about that, that Pastor Wilson, whatever the fuck he done did. And, and pastors been pimps from the beginning of the time. It, it's a lot of Pastor Will, Wilsons on on YouTube. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of Pastor Wilsons, man. That's that y'all letting use they use their tongue and finesse y'all out of super chats and out of money and shit. And they don't, and they don't have the best interest in your best interest as a viewer. They're not gonna tell you what you need to hear. They're gonna tell you kind of what you want to hear. They don't believe the shit they seen. They don't believe the shit they seen. Cause I know for a fact. Cause I've spoken to these people. They don't believe the propaganda they pushing. So all of a sudden you see Sean Porter, but they got a plan for Sean Porter. Watch. Sean Porter probably gonna end up fighting uh uh fighting Keith Thurman again or something. Sean Porter, you know, Sean Porter, oh we'll fight Terrence Crawford. They probably promised him a rematch versus Errol Spence. You will probably see Errol Spence and, and Ter- uh Errol Spence and uh Sean Porter too before you see uh Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. And when I got that, when I got that intel yesterday, that just confirmed what one of my sources been saying. It, 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 I knew it was. And you funny, you know, they go out here and say, well, you had these dudes come out here and say, well, Errol need to fight. Well, Terrence need to fight Yugas. Last time I checked, I ain't see you. I don't see Yugas knocking on that door. 
You can post all day on Twitter. All day on Twitter. You can post all day every day. You can post all day every day. The three words you won't see Yugas post is Terrence Bud Crawford. He won't post them. J.A. Salute. He won't post those words. You see Lippy S in here crying, crying on, on, on Twitter the other uh, uh what like week or two ago? Saying how Danny Garcia get a crack at the IBF versus Earl Spence before me and I'm ready to head of him. You don't see you don't see them saying, Oh, I won't fight Bud Crawford. And I ain't no top rank employee. I'm just I'm just keep I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, everybody talk about the meme machine. Oh, he fighting me. Oh, he's a bum. He this and that. And whoop de whoop. Hey, at the end of the day, you motherfuckers gonna watch. You gonna watch. And everybody so against Bob Aram. Oh, Bob this, Bob that. And like, like I said, I ain't the biggest Bob Aram fan at all. I ain't the biggest Bob fan. I ain't got nothing. I really don't, you know, I already know how Bob is. You know what I'm saying? I know how Bob is, but uh, my whole thing about it is I ain't going to sit here and say, oh, F top rank. I ain't watching that shit no more or this and that. Like, nigga, like, you going to, like, if if, if Bob Aram, Trey Salute, if Bob Aram the worst uh, out of all, don't watch then. Don't watch top rank. Don't watch top rank then. Don't go live commentary, gosh, we can perturb you tonight. That, 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 that. That that be that be crazy that be crazy with me. That be crazy with me. All all these dudes going around here, they criticize top rank or top rank ain't getting no oh f the zone. But guess what? Everybody got a reaction video to gonna have a reaction video to Canelo Kovalev. Everybody got a reaction video to Hooker and Ramirez. Hey, I just thought you were strictly Team PBC. I I just thought you strictly was Team PBC. You said the zone the devil, F. Eddie Hearn. But everybody was seeming to watch AJ and Ruiz, though. If you strictly, uh, uh, you strictly, uh, Team PBC and you anti top rank, you shouldn't be watching it, streaming it or nothing. Shouldn't have an opinion on it. That's what be killing me about it. They at the fan, like niggas on YouTube and the new media trying to, oh, don't watch this, don't watch that. But nigga, you reporting it, though. You reporting about Kovalev Canelo. You reporting about Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? You going to interview Eddie Hearn and going to the fights. Come on. You I had, I had to get I had to get my shit in line. Like, nigga, we said Eddie Hearn ain't way too much. We said Eddie Hearn ain't way too much. I was like, let me, let me chill out. These dudes going out here making Eddie Hearn popular. Making Anthony Joshua popular. And that's the crazy thing about it. And don't watch. Don't watch. But they going to watch. Watch. They going to watch Baturbi and Gosvick tonight. Ain't nobody talk about that fight. Very, very few people. Lawrence Williams, Corey Lee. I don't watch everybody. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Nobody say shit about that fight. Ain't nobody do a prediction video. Ain't nobody really do a live on it. They ain't do a video. Watch everybody tonight. Gonna have a, oh, that was a great fight. Oh, this dude was throwing down. They ain't watched four or five of their fights before. Ain't even watched three, four fights live. But everybody gonna have a reaction video. Everybody gonna have a reaction video. That's what it's gonna be. Watch. Everybody gonna be a Gosvick and Baturbi specialist. Everybody going to go off there and and, and, and and look up where they from and watch the fight. But then again, you telling me Bob Aram is the Antichrist. You know what I'm saying? You calling Devin Haney Black Jesus. He fired his own. But when he was going to the zone, everybody was mad with him. Oh, F. Devin Haney. Ain't nobody fuck with him no more. Ain't nobody was messing with him no more. At all. Wasn't nobody messing with him. They was, oh, I can't believe you made that decision and... Nigga, I was like, I'm with him. I don't care where he at. But, well, when it when it came to, oh, he want to fight Loma, he 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 want to beat Loma, then everybody jumped back on the Devin Haney bandwagon. Please pay attention. Tiffany Lopez, remember everybody was, oh, yeah, T.O. Uh, beat Lomachenko. And, like, it's, it's emotion. It's not even boxing. You know, I talked on conversation with a few people. 
Like, you know, I think Loma can be T.O. can beat Loma. I'm like, no, he can't, bro. The fuck is you talking about? No, he can't. Can't beat him. All of a sudden, he had that fight with Mayoshi Tanaki, and all of a sudden, he overrated. You notice they prop like 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 dudes on dudes on the new media dudes, and then they they fanboys they prop certain dudes up based on they think he a threat to a guy they don't like. Watch, why well, how quick they jumped off the Teofimo Lopez bandwagon. Devin Haney was the was the was the worst case scenario. He was bubble gum on the bottom of your shoes when he signed to the zone. Nobody didn't ask why, you know, Showtime didn't give him a network contract. They was in talks. Flamo24, appreciate it, man. Appreciate that uh, donation earlier, family. I do. That's my second uh, uh, Cash App donation. But I ain't never, uh, I ain't use Cash App. Only reason I end up getting it is because uh, my boy, he uh, supposed to be Cash Apping me this money for our tickets to the Piston game. They play in the Sixers next Saturday. And I found a uh, dude the gas station. I guess he got, like, season tickets. He going to... Uh, Give me a couple tickets. Hopefully, he good on his word. Because I got the bread. For sure, for sure. I got that bread for them tickets. He uh got like $80 tickets. So, that almost put you almost on the floor at a pissing game. <laughs> it's a nice stadium, though. But if you want to donate, I'll put that link in the description right there. Uh, motherfucking uh, Super Chats, man. They be, they be taxing niggas on the Super Chats. So, if you want to donate... Always uh check the PayPal, the Cash App, the description. But that's the best way. But I'll take it anyway. I ain't, I ain't, a, I ain't, a, I ain't a beggar or a chooser. But, but back to that situation, man. Back to that situation. He said Cap App easier. I have to fuck with it. They got the same fee as uh PayPal. PayPal just I like the insurance with PayPal, and I've been using it for like ten years. That's why I bought my stuff online. If they if they merchant don't got PayPal, I won't use it. Because if they, if PayPal, if they fuck your order, PayPal get your money right back then and there. If it never show up, you order something from like China, and I know somebody ordered a zero gravity chair from China and never showed up. You know, uh, PayPal refunded their money. You know, they got insurance, so you know if Amazon brings you a package, and you know somebody stole it, they got insurance on that. And they send you another one. Yeah, they got insurance, so that's why you leave it on your your you know, your porch. I remember a girl I work with. Um, we worked at Amazon together. It's years ago, we worked at Amazon together, and she said she ordered a beauty chair, a salon chair for our basement or whatever, and her husband and they put it on the on the chair on the house on the side of the house, and her husband told her to tell her you ain't get it, you ain't get it, and they sent her a whole new, so she had two salon chairs in her basement, so that shit crazy, but, um, but, but yeah, you know, people people just seem to people in this they just seem to gravitate towards people because. They think they can, they, because they don't, they think they can be the guy they don't like. You know, and, and that's natural, though. You know, it's, it, that's natural, though. It's natural. It's some guys that I don't, I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keep it real. There's some guys in boxing I don't like. You know, but you know, I just keep those personal feelings to myself. I try to, but... um. But yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, anybody with with, with clarity can see there's no premier boxing champions calling Terence Crawford out. Everybody asks him, "Oh, why don't Terence Crawford go to a uh, Errol Spence fight, or why he don't go to a PBC fight?" And nobody ever asks why don't PBC fighters go to his fight. He was at Wilder Fury. They didn't show him. The reason he showed up to Errol last fight, even though him and Sean Cool, it was his birthday. He was in Hawaii. Heard him do an interview before he even went. So, at the end of the day, they don't believe they can win. I got, I got, I, I got that confirmed. They don't believe they can win. They don't believe they can win. And that, and that's, and that's the sad part about it, though. I mean, you got a roster full of ten dudes that can go over there, from from dudes that don't have belts, Keith, Danny. Lippias, Yugis, Jamal James. That's five. You know what I'm saying? Even the guy that they may not be for Omar Figueroa, Devin Alexander. You know what I'm saying? They got guys on top of guys. They can pay Marcos Madonna to come back to take out Terrence Crawford. But Madonna don't like fighting movers. They got all these guys, you know, and the other guys. So Zito Lopez. You know what I'm saying? Uh um, um, who else they got over there? Uh, Victor Ortiz may be coming back at some point if he, if he, you know, 
get his situation together. You know what I'm saying? Antonio DeMarco just gave Jamal James a great run for his money. They got all these different guys. They got all these different guys that that can that really can that can really uh can uh, excuse me that really can 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 get Crawford or should think they can get Crawford to run for his money, especially the guys that can punch. You know, if Lippy has land on the majority of welterweights, he might can hurt them and get them out of there. He may. You going like, yeah, I might go live for uh, Baturbi and Ghostwick. Yeah, I may. It's looking like it. Miles ain't going to watch. He's going to be asleep just like he is now. Uh, shit. But, uh... Excuse me, but uh, but that is what it is. But hey, you want, you want me to speak on that Earl DWI a little bit more? Uh, all I'm gonna say is this, all right? And then we talk a little about Tank Gamble, and then we open it up a little bit more. Uh, C Dub said Yugas Lipias Keith should go over there. I'm very surprised Keith not going over there. He was talking the most junk about Crawford winning over Jeff Horn, and guess what? He ain't trying to go over there. Keith Thurman said they offered Keith Thurman to go over there. He said they're going to pay me a lot of money to go. Keith Thurman, I used to believe in Keith Thurman. Keith, Keith Thurman, the biggest hoe out there. He said Bud went over the PBC. Things would be any uh, be any different. That's a good question. It may not. They may sit there and marinate Earl Spence. He'd definitely be fighting like uh like uh Berto or Lopez or somebody like that. He'd definitely be fighting a name, but. PBC is known to nuke their own fights. He said, uh, you, overhand say Benavidez and Yurder been approved by WBC. Dope investigation finished. So Benavidez is actually going to have to fight this bum. That nigga, man, that nigga was juicing. Allegedly. So it is what it is. Anthony Durrell made him look too good. But. But the whole thing with Earl Spence, man, just think about it. What if that was Terrence Crawford? What if that was Terrence Crawford that driving while intoxicated? I don't care if it was a point eight, a point fifty five, or whatever. What if that was Terrence Crawford? How much? How much? I mean, it, it do seem, and I don't blame Terrence Crawford. It do seem it got to the point where the black box community hated Terrence Crawford. It got to that point. That man ain't did shit to be hated. Now is he a little defensive? Fuck yeah, yeah, hella defensive. Hella defensive. But imagine if Terrence Crawford is the guy that got caught for the DWI. Do you think all these dudes have support things to say? I understand if Kovalev got caught because his history. I understand if Canelo got caught because his history. You know, I understand if if uh if the other. All of a sudden, motherfuckers just want to, you know, be soft with it. They, they kind of want to be encouraging. Oh, he need help. He need this. He need that. It's very well known that Errol Spence is a full-blown alcoholic. Okay? I mean, the dude put the video of him in the club before the accident. This dude, he his eyes was, was frosty. Like, that was dope fiend. Now, that wasn't no, just no alcoholic. That wasn't no out in the eyes of an alcoholic. That dude had dope fiend eyes. That nigga was hot and drunk. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if Terrence Crawford did that. Oh, Crawford got kids at home. And, and a lot of dudes get mad at the people that quote unquote say Earl Spence is uh they are uh, haters. But guess what? They got valid point. Tax tax loop. Hold on. They got valid points. Cause do you do you, man the way that crash looked? What if he would have killed somebody? What if he would have killed the family? What if he would have hit somebody? What if he would have ran to a building and some workers working? What if he would have did that? Seriously, what if what if he would have honestly uh, honestly hurt somebody? He'd be going away for life. All the money he got in Texas, he'd have been going away for life. He said sipping lean in Texas is very common. Man, that nigga was on some more than lean. But if, I mean, them, them motherfuckers got a valid point. He could endanger somebody's life, but you know what? Motherfuckers, motherfuckers so 
got their nose up his ass so much, they scared they gonna piss off like black fight fan or some shit. They that nigga got niggas over there scared to speak their mind. That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit crazy, dog. The nigga scared because they gonna get booted for for speaking their opinion. Nigga, fuck man, nigga, please. Oh, we can't we can't disobey them. We can't say nothing about uh old Spence, Master Spence. Master Black Fight fan gonna get us. Man, if I know from hundreds of thousands of miles away that Earl Spence is an alcoholic and people were saying it in the amateurs. I mean, I got several people that came and told me he's an alcoholic. And he also smoked weed and other stuff, allegedly. If I know it from all the way in Detroit, I know that. I know that. If I know it from Detroit, so you telling me Somebody that live in South Dallas don't know that? Huh? Somebody in South Dallas don't know that? And nigga know who live in South Dallas. I know. And niggas need to watch who they talk to. I know a lot about these niggas. Because when these other dudes get mad at them, guess who they come and willingly talk to? <laughs> guess, guess when they get mad at them, who they come talk to? A lot of them. Everybody want to act like I, I'm a contagious disease, but when the shit don't go that way, everybody, oh, yeah, 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 you was right. Hey, man, ah. You know? They all beating around the bush. People saying, well, 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 well CJ, you beating around the bush. Man, I ain't got nothing personal to say about the guy. I don't. I don't have nothing personal. I don't, I, not my, it, my criticism of him is saying, this is my problem with him. My criticism with Earl Spence is he sat out there and he was in a position of weakness. He was in a position of suffering. He can sympathize with a brother like Terrence Crawford. Now, if Crawford wasn't a brother, okay, I, I give him a pass. But he can sympathize with him. Like, damn, you know what I, you know, I remember I couldn't get a fight up here. I remember Sean, Danny, Keith Thurman, Mayweather wouldn't give me a shot. None of these dudes would give me a shot. I remember that. I remember none of these dudes giving me a shot. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, like he like a dude from the hood and forgot who they, where they came from. You know, you watch ATL and uh, New New Daddy. You know what I'm saying? He he had got all rich and he didn't got all powerful. He didn't he didn't got his power and all of a sudden he forgot he came from the hood. That's Earl Spence right now. That's Earl Spence. Earl Spence forgot when he was suffering. Earl Spence forgot when he ain't he couldn't get those fights. And you look at Terrence Crawford, you say you, you cool, you like him. You say you your own boss. You say you your own boss. Charlo just came out, Killmonger salute. Charlo just came out and say, you know, he is own boss. If you your own boss, you make your own decisions. But that's my biggest problem with him. You was at the bottom. You couldn't get it. You couldn't get a scrap. You couldn't get a potato skin. You couldn't get a French fry. You couldn't get a drop of water. They starved you out, and you didn't like it. So all you, what you gonna do? You gonna do the very same thing? I can't respect it. Now had he sat there and, and took his and, and, and took his freeze out like a man and didn't complain and. And, and, and just say, you know what, I'm going to trust the process and, and, you know, just say, hey, man, I suffered and he's just going to suffer like me. But you was begging these niggas for fights. And they was hiding. And what happened? You finally made it to the big boy table. You got it. You got Mikey. To, you got Mikey. And, and Mikey going the distance made people more brave. You know, then they forced Sean to fight you. Now they forcing Danny to fight you. All of a sudden now, you know, the very same nigga that was that was that was that guy. You know, that was that was starving. That was begging for a shot. Now he didn't got on. He forgot where he came from. Now he talking about all oh, went on the belts. It's strap season. It's strap season. Oh, it's business season. It's bag season. Because last time I checked, it don't matter what order you get the get the straps. Crawford already say fuck 50-50. I'm confident I'm gonna win. People didn't talk about that. In that TMZ interview, fuck 50-50. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, now it's 
Oh, you know, I got to get this belt, that belt, this belt, that belt. Like, nigga, just go ahead and, 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 and go ahead and leave. Go ahead and leave the division. Go ahead and move up because that's, that's, that's messed up, though. You want us to feel bad for you? Everybody on the everybody on the front line going for him. Oh, Danny need to fight him. Sean ducking him. Oh, uh, oh, Keith ducking him. We, D, Keith out there boxing in the streets in Nepal. Keith out there boxing in the streets in Nepal. Oh, uh, Keith ducking. Man, man, we was going hard on Keith Thurman, bro. Like a lot of us was hardcore Keith Thurman fans, bro. See Dub say. A higher risk, low reward have. To big unless he a mandatory. Ma, Charlo, Wilder, Spence, Crawford, Gary Russell all have trouble begging for. And that's the problem with it. At the end of the day, you want the system to change, but you ain't willing to change to change the system. Let that sink in for a minute. Let that sink in for a minute. You want the system to change, but you ain't willing to change <laughs> to help the system change. Ronnie Boy, first salute. Check that out. All of a sudden, he get his belt and he get his little notoriety and he forgot what it feel like to be on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? But back to the DWI thing, Bobby Swag salute. Back to the DWI thing. I'm just saying, if that was Terrence Crawford, man, that'd be all over him, man. If that was Kenny Porter in the Ferrari doing that, Kenny Porter couldn't come. And they all scared to say something. They all holding their words back. Because I told you it wasn't personal with me. It wasn't personal with me. I didn't want to see him get caught and had no alcohol in the system. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't never personal. It's never personal, bro. What about these boxers? Unless it it it, it become a run in, or or it become or, or they diss me directly, then it become personal. But it's, it's nothing personal. It's it's just not it's it's nothing personal. I have no issue with that man. But all I'm saying is this. If it was Terrence Crawford that got caught with that DWI, come on, man. Come on. Oh, you know what? He got a family. He could have killed somebody. This is why he don't deserve an Earl Spence fight. The WBO should strip him. He should be suspended for boxing for 10 months. Oh, the city of Dallas or the city of Lincoln, Nebraska should 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 should, should ban him from boxing. No commission could. Well, uh, just check out the check out how the flow would go, bro. All these dudes would be going live even before it officially came out from the uh the police department. Oh, Crawford had to be drunk. He was drunk at the he was drunk at the Ocampo fight or he was drunk at the Cicero fight. Oh, I heard Terrence Crawford got I heard he played with that white girl or I heard he smoked weed or I heard this and that about I'm telling you that they would have instantly went live. But they say that they getting kicked out the LDBC. They say that you getting kicked out the LDBC. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to do you like real world breaker. Pull out pictures and shit. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you was fake. You was never real. I really never liked you. You know what I'm saying? All of them would have been going like, Errol Spence got caught drunk. Oh, you know, he, oh, he's an alcoholic. Nick Jones said it from the Mayweather Boxing Gym. Uh, 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 the Muhammad guy been saying it. I got a lot of guys in the amateur system that been telling me he was a drunk. Had a few subs telling me he was a drunk. We've been, and, and y'all can go back and I've been consistent. Exactly, good, right? So I agree anybody else, but I'm using him as an example. But remember, remember this. Remember y'all was saying, oh, Errol Spencer's drunk when he was saying, oh, Bob Aaron won't give him to me after Danny and Sean Porter. What I say? I said, I said, oh, Jeff Mayweather said it too. Yeah, he did. And I was like, well, I don't know if he was drunk. I was like, I was like CJ, he was drunk. He was drunk. Errol Spence was drunk. Look at this interview he did with Brother Raheem, Radio Raheem, whatever. He was like, he was drunk. Yeah, I didn't even say he was drunk. But they going to get kicked out. And you know what? A lot of a lot of motherfuckers got to run in groups because they can't survive on their own. They can't. A lot of dudes can't survive on their own. They you know a lot of motherfuckers join the LDBC to get subs. Y'all know that? A lot of niggas join the LDBC to get subs. They don't join the LDBC because they believe, but they they willing, they willing to censor their word. They willing to fit in just to come up. You know what I'm saying? But once you come up, you know, to where you need to be at, 
You know what I'm saying? Then you want to go back to say what you want to say. Then you get put out. Then you get, oh, I don't fuck with him no more. Then You can't even be yourself. See, that wasn't my case. I built my shit up on my own. I ain't had nobody pushing my videos. Nobody sharing my videos. I remember this, the very same people I had from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And I used to be wanting to network with people and, and hop on their shit. Man, I ain't doing that shit no more. I ain't hopping on nobody's channel. I ain't have nobody hop on my shit because all they're going to do is they're going to use you to get their clout, use you to get exposure, and then turn their back on you, dog. I ain't doing that. I don't need it. I don't need it. All they do is use people. All they do is use each other. Most of them niggas don't even like each other. I'm telling you that for a fact. Most of them don't even like each other. Especially if you, oh, you get more views than them or you go live when they go live because you got to work in life. Or you say something bad about Earl Spence. Oh, man, it's over with. Most of them don't like each other. They don't. They just, a lot of them dudes over there using each other or they scared to leave because they don't want, they want to be able to make it seem like black people can galvanize and come together. I'd be damned if I go work 40, 60, 70, 80 hours a week or whatever it may be. And then I come on YouTube and answer to another nigga. Man, you out your fucking, you out your mind. You out your mind. I'm scared because, oh, what he gonna say? Man, you gonna have to whoop my ass. You gotta just whoop my ass. You know what I'm saying? For real. Ain't nobody about to run me off YouTube. You out your mind. To whoop my ass. I don't give a shit. You gotta whoop my ass. It ain't gonna be easy neither. Dude, Earl Spence got a problem. These are the facts. He got a problem. And imagine if imagine Donald Williams saluting the super chat, bro. Appreciate it. Imagine if uh imagine if 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 Derrick James came out and said, and Terrence Crawford was a known drinker. Derrick James come out there and say this. Well, you know, it's cr a drunk ain't shit. A drunk ain't shit. And, and, and Terrence Crawford out there, nice like this, I wish, Ranger. Just because I had one or two drinks, I'm an alcoholic. Imagine if, if oh, dear James right? You're a bully, alcoholic. Man, he, I, I ain't never seen nobody protect the person with a sausage like they protect Earl Spence. Not even Floyd May Man, these dudes is willing to take a bullet for this man. Coffee Universe, police, salute to the Super Chase. Say, uh, most of these people don't have a, a a backbone to stand on. What's up, well, CJ and everybody in the chat? Salute. You ain't lying, bro. Most of these dudes don't have no cold. Ain't no more cold, bro. In the working air, in the working world, or in the street life. When when Derrick James was out there saying, when Derrick James was out there saying, oh, uh, uh, he was going to talk about Kenny and Sean relationship and, and trying to poke fun, like, dude, Broner won fifteen m's for a bull fight. Where you see that at? He going to sleep. It don't matter. Most of these niggas ain't got no code, bro. Yeah, oh, Bo Mac this and F Bo Mac and oh, I hate his fat ass and shit like that. People getting mad as hell when he said that. But when he was talking about Kenny and Sean relationship, which he shouldn't be speaking on. You shouldn't be speaking on Kenny and Sean relationship. But you speaking on something that, that you ain't got no business speaking on. But it's cool. Oh, oh you're right. <laughs> Sean be <laughs> Sean listen to Kenny. He ain't got his own life. And people thought it was cute. But they ain't on, they ain't on Sean. They ain't on Kenny. On Arrow Net. They ain't on Arrow Net. Could have killed somebody. Could have messed up his career. All of a sudden, it's sweeping under. Everybody knew he was drunk when he got crashed. Everybody knew it. I was, I was talking to a few people out there. I was like, man, I hope the nigga wasn't drunk. <laughs> so I said, I said, I hope he wasn't drunk. I ain't trying to hear that. All of a sudden, it ain't, it ain't no thing. And then we still waiting on the pay-per-view numbers to come out. You can say I sound like a header all you want to. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> that just means I'm telling the truth. That be killing me, niggas. Oh, you a hater. Yup. I, I like that. So that's a compliment. That's a compliment. Because I can go way harder than I can be. I, if I wanted to go way harder on them, I can go way harder. I can go way. This is soft. 
This is this is this is the this is the PG version. I can go hard in the paint on them. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't, well, for what? For what? What I'm gonna go hard in the paint on them for? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no he want to be an alcoholic, a drunk. He want to sip lean. He want to play with his nose. Whatever he want to do, that's his pride. He won't be the first in boxing, and he won't be the last in boxing. He ain't the only alcoholic. Frankie Randall was a drunk beating the hell out of Chavez. Chavez had a, he had he played with nose candy too. De La Hoya. A lot of dudes was you know, was drunks and shit like that. They didn't have a longevity. You know what they said about Sugar Ray Leonard was another one. Sugar Ray Leonard and 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 and, and Tommy Hearns ro rolled around with the Brick Man. Brick, Maserati Rick. They rolled around with the Brick Man. Pure ism. So you think you think they wasn't? You think they wasn't? You ride around with the man who got the bricks. But if you know your history, Kelly Pavick, another guy. If you know your history, to me, it don't surprise me. But if you want to you wanna have longevity, he said, nigga, point out, nigga, problem. Nigga, point out, when you a public figure, you make your problems public. Dr. Blick, salute. When you a public figure, you make your problems public. Fuck you mean. When you making millions on TV, you ask me to pay $80 to go see you fight, and you out here being a drunk, you out here getting drunk, you out here, you know, eyes glazed, drunk driving, that's the responsibility you pay. You a public figure. Hey, come on. It's on him. He opened the door for this criticism. But I ain't even kicking him when he down because I know it's a thousand boxers that did a lot of worse than he did. Thousands and thousands of boxers. But if he want to last in the sport, if he truly want to last in the sport, he got to cut that shit out. He ain't going to last long. He ain't going to have no, no long career. He ain't going to have no 10 year, no real 10, 12 solid year career. You know, he ain't going to make it to the point where Mayweather was 36 still getting there. He ain't going to be Pacquiao 40 years old. He ain't going to be Cotto. Sugar Ray Leonard. The t he, he started to go down. All them dudes that had them habits. You can't have them type of, those type of habits and last in this sport of boxing. You can't last in sports in general. And people been saying he he had an alcohol problem. Why Al Heyman ain't helping with it? Oh, when it was Adrian Broner, it, it, it when it was Adrian Broner, when it was Adrian Broner, y'all was laughing. When it was Adrian Broner out there getting shot at, was Adrian Broner popping a gold bottle, a gold Ace of Spade bottle on, on Al Heyman jet? When it was Al Heyman, when it was Adrian Broner, and, 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 and Adrian Broner was losing though. It's funny, uh, Ronnie Boy first says, "Honey, it's funny how these uh, Floyd wannabes don't want to treat their body properly." Bernard Hopkins was another guy. He came out the penitentiary and, and kept his body right. When it was AB, everybody was laughing, even though AB was losing. AB, I mean, come on, I don't find nobody on on uh uh, uh air resume better than Marcos Madonna. You want to say maybe Sean, Sean Porter was better than Marcos Madonna? He said Sugar Ray lasted, but nah, he ain't last. He ain't last. He had a good career, but he ain't last. Eye injury. He took some years off in between a lot of those years. Look how he went out. I forgot who beat the shit out of him, but look how he went out. Think it was uh, Camacho. He ain't last. Lasting is like Floyd. Lasting is like even Pacquiao got knocked out. Lasting is what I, you know, Bernard Hopkins did. Sugar Ray Leonard was in and out. He ain't last. He had a like 10 year career, whatever his career was. He had a nice career, but he didn't last at the high level. Dream Church Super Chat, WBC, IBF. And then the day, that is what it is. You know, it took him how long to get two belts? But we ain't talking about that. He, what, year seven of his career to get two belts? Like, come on. It's, it's four different belts floating around there, and it took seven years. You with the, you with the, you with the godfather, Al Heyman. Come on. He posed that got all them belts before Terrence Crawford even arrived. When Crawford arrived in the division? Last year? 
If Earl Spence that guy, he they ace in the bullpen, he they Verlander, he they Serger, shit, he ain't even Strasburg. If he that guy, Earl Spence is supposed to have all the belts before before Terrence Crawford got there. Ain't no hiding kids and babies. Ain't no hiding Keith. Ain't no hiding Sean. How you gonna have streets on the street? Bud ain't have Al Heyman. <laughs> what you talking about? Bud ain't have Al Heyman. Bud was with Modern Off Sports. Bud, Bud was fighting for, for pennies, pennies on the undercard. Bud was not well, not always with top rank. Neither Bud got with top rank. What, 14, Ronnie Boy Fresh? Was it 14 to 13? So the first six, seven years of Terrence Crawford career, he was with a smaller promoter. Soon as Earl Spence stepped, I remember his professional debut on Showtime. He had Al Heyman since 2012. No, it ain't been two years for Bud yet. I don't believe it's been two full years. Let me double check that. You could be right. I think it's been two full years. It's only been a year. Next June will be two years. So it's been a year, a year and four months. And five months, six months till we fight. So he only been here a year. If Earl Spence that guy, look at, look at, look at, and y'all like to use, y'all like to use Lomachenko and see how people try to come in there and say, oh, Todd Terrence, he ain't do it. Like, dude, get your facts together. You ain't messing with no, no nigga who know half the facts. Or, or half the story. Like, come on, bro. He said, what fighter besides Lomachenko had a faster rise than Spence? Talking about seven years, nigga, to get a belt? Tank! Tank got two belts! <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Tank been world champion twice. What you talking about? Tank been pro for seven years yet? Hold on. Maybe my timeline fucked up. Hold on. Tank been pro since 13. So Tank been pro for six years. And he five years younger than Errol Spence. He got two belts. In, he got two belts. A new UI? Come on, what you talking about? Unified on pay-per-view? Nigga, what you talking about? Unified on pay-per-view. Ain't none of that nigga fights been pay-per-view worthy. And I'm glad you brought up pay-per-view. Where's the numbers at? Show me the pay-per-view numbers. Show me pay-per-view numbers at. Where are you? Tell me, have you seen them? Do -do -do -do. Where the pay-per-view numbers at? Where the pay-per-view numbers at? Where they at? Hey, you seen him? Mom, you seen the pay-per-view numbers? He ain't seen him. He sleep. Where they at? I, I can't find him. When Bud, oh, they ain't released Bud pay-per-view numbers yet. Where, where, where these numbers at? Where, where these pay-per-view numbers at? Where they at? I know Black Fight Fan got him. Come on, man. He in Texas. They get the numbers first. Where the pay-per-view to Fred? Fred. Fred. Fred, I know you know Sam. Ask Sam where the pay-per-view numbers are. I know Sam, I know he's losing a lot of businesses right now. Yeah, I know, Fred. I know they shutting down this shit. I know the IRS on Sam Watson ass. I know all that, Fred. No, he might He might be a little bit too busy. He might be a little bit too busy to know what the numbers is. But ask one of his sons. Where's the numbers at, LDBC? Because I know y'all got the plug. He got the, Fred got the all gold, all gold, everything Spence draws on. Well, for now, ask him too. Where the numbers at? They know everything else. Where the numbers at? Hundred thousand, hundred thousand, thousand money shot right now. Where the numbers at? Oh, I heard Crawford did like 50,000. I already only did a hundred thousand. Come on, where the numbers at? Where the pay-per-view numbers at? Google don't even know. Man, ask Jeeves come out of retirement. He can't get them. Where are the numbers at? 
Where those numbers at? Please, somebody tell me. Please, please. All I heard was, oh, he's a pay-per-view star. He's moving so fast. He's getting so much money. I heard he made $20 million fight Mikey. Oh, he, he where the numbers at, bro? Brooklyn Brawl ain't got him. He got all the numbers. Mike Coppinger put out that cap number. Dan Rayfield ain't got the numbers. Kevin Ioli ain't got the numbers. Keith Heideck ain't got the numbers. Boxing ain't got the numbers. Ring ain't got the numbers. Oscar De La Hoya ain't got the numbers. The Zone ain't got the numbers. You know, Stephen A. Smith ain't got the numbers. The Breakfast Club ain't got the numbers. I ain't got the numbers. I got a plug that he ain't even got the numbers. Derek James got the numbers. Maybe the numbers was inside the Ferrari. That's what happened to him. We told this Ferrari that pay-per-view numbers went down there. Went down with him. Come on, man. Eddie Hearn got the... Oh, come on, Eddie. I know Eddie got the numbers. We got to get Eddie Hearn on the show. We got to get Eddie on the show. Eddie got the real numbers. Eddie got them. I'm going to hit Eddie up in the DM, man. Eddie, what's the numbers? Yo, mate, I, he I heard it only did 100,000, mate. I heard it did 100,000, mate. I heard they gave away like half the tickets. There's only like 8,000 people there. Now you can say I'm hating. Now you can say I'm hating now. Now I'm hating. I don't want to know where the numbers at. Monique got the numbers. <laughs> Tiffany Haddash got the numbers. TMZ ain't got the TMZ ain't got them. It's bad. Come on, man. Or Luis Ortiz got the numbers. Luis the Cuba's got the numbers. <laughs> they say, man, you got in that accident in that Ferrari. Get your ass. See, keep Thurman. Keith Thurman got to have a nice vacation. 18, 22 months off. He he got to rest his hand. You know, he got to box in the streets in Nepal. Helped him start a boxing little league over there. Earl Spence getting to a car accident. Messing with that syrup. Messing with that yak. <laughs> messing with that sick of weed. Messing with that endo. He said, oh, no, man, you better crack your neck, get your teeth fixed. You fight Danny Garcia January 25th. Al Hamer said, off and, up and off your feet. Ain't no time to fix your teeth. <laughs> now, when I went to bed last night, didn't I tell you to call the lift? I tried to call the lift. Damn. I wish your ass was <laughs> I wish your ass was up right now. Get up and knock your ass up with a left hook. Make your ass get out and take out take that damn lift. Take the garbage outside, son. That's what he told Al told him. Damn. Damn. That's what he told him. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Al coming to his room. Al, 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 Al coming into his dressing room uh, before the Crawford fight. He said, what you got that for, son, that gun? He said, I, I got to walk out and fight Crawford. You, you don't need that, son. You don't need that, son. All you need is these. Now put that gun up. You a man? You a man? You a man with it? You a man? I'm a man without it. <laughs> we got into it. We got into it with Bo Mack and, and, and Bob Beerham. I got to walk. I got to walk WBC and IBF home. You can't take that to the ring with your son. All you need is these. All you need is these. That's what that nigga. All you need is these. <laughs> Al gonna be ringside. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up, Errol! Get up, Errol! Ain't gonna be no trash can to save him or a brick to save him this time. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no brick to save him this time. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no brick to save him this time, nigga. That motherfucking weed he was smoking, that liquor, he gonna stand up on him. E&J say he was drinking that Hennessy. Drink. You got knocked the fuck out, man. <laughs> now get Crawford gonna like, give me my goddamn IBF and WBC belt. <laughs> give me 
my goddamn belt. <laughs> Charlo's gonna play. My grandmama gave me. Derrick James gave me that chain. Get your way, big face worldwide. Salute. Y'all go subscribe to this shit. Get your ass up. Nigga, Arrow gonna try to bring a gun to the ring trying to fight Crawford. Al, like, you can't bring that out there. He said, all you need is these. I'm a man without it. <laughs> I'm a man without it. They gonna try to bring a gun in the ring and shit. Motherfucker better bring a motherfucker. He better bring that good that nigga had on Jumanji. The old Jumanji. That old musket. That nigga gonna need a musket to put Bud down. That nigga gonna need a musket. That nigga gonna need one of them old revolvers and pistols and some shit like that. They gonna need a musket. That nigga gonna be Michael Spinks in a lot. And, 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 and he gonna be Michael Spinks in the motherfucking uh, locker room and shit. <laughs> Singing to his belts. Forever, my lady. It's like a dream. I'm holding you, bro. Thank you, so. He gonna be holding his belts, knowing they go all this shit. Nigga, knowing, knowing they go all this shit. They gonna be up out of there and shit, man. Mama used to say, take your time, young man. <laughs> you be out there sick of Freddie Jackson and shit. You ever love somebody? <laughs> ah, they gonna be sick of Freddie Jackson. Oh, man, so who was going on, bro? That motherfucker, man. Hell yeah, man. Get up, Earl. Get up. Get up, man. Get up. Man, that Hennessy ain't hit me that hard. Shit. That Hennessy ain't hit me that hard. That Hennessy ain't hit me that hard. Man, that motherfucker. I just want to know where the pay-per-view numbers at. Anybody coming in with Tom Foolery, you get blocked. Anybody come in with that tomfoolery, you getting no flex zone. No flex zone. You know better. Earl been tripping, hanging with yellow beezy and rappers. Got live. Got them living like a rapper, not an athlete. Man, yellow beezy was in the Tom Ford store with uh, L.A. Reed, man. <laughs> that nigga in the, in the Tom Ford store, store selling his booty hole and shit, man. That nigga out here snitching on that other nigga too, man. Nigga Earl rolled it with snitches and booty and booty givers. <laughs> that nigga out here rolling with booty with booty niggas who giving up the booty hole and shit. That nigga like LA. LA like I tailor him. Let me let me let me get your measurements in the time four store. <laughs> get your man nigga in there. The same LA Reed that let uh that let uh Bobby Smarter sit there and fry in the courtroom, man. Come on. Come on. That nigga, that nigga Yellow Bees, he out here rolling with snitches and shit, man. Nigga out here. Nigga Earl probably snitched too. Yeah, I seen Terrence Crawford drinking before he got in his Mustang. Pull him over. Sir, all I got is some Aquafina. Nigga out here rolling with rats. Don't be surprised you don't see Earl Spence with Takashi 6ix9ine when he get out. A nigga out here rolling with rats. For real. Nigga out here, nigga out here drunk in the club. Y'all see a nigga in the club, bro? They're supposed to be your man, though. All, all these niggas probably got at least 100000 millions of dollars. You in the club drunk, and they let you drive a Ferrari home. Not a bucket. You know, not the Benz. Not the F-150. Not the Toyota Tundra. Not no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They let this dude drive home in a Ferrari like dog. No, you can't do that, man. You can't you can't drive home, bro. We're gonna get you a ride home. Ain't nobody care enough about him. Nigga in the club. Then I'm about to put the link in the description, bro. I think it was in the club. Toasted, bro. Toasted. Toasted at the strip club. Talking about fighting in January. He talking about fighting in January and he froze. And he gonna try to act like he gonna try to act like he you know I'm training, I'm getting ready. You going to the gym and training, then you then <clears throat> you going to the gym training, but then you going out here smoking weed and, and then where the Vada shit at? Where the Vada at? Ronnie boy fresh. Y'all heard anything about Vada? Where the Vada? Where the Vada test at? Where is it? Oh, they completed Vada at. Huh? Hell 
He got a video link right here. Where, where the Vada test at? Where the Vada test at? Huh? Where? Oh, oh, congratulations to Sean Porter, Errol Spence for completing Vada. Ain't no Vada. Ain't no pay per view number. What was this? What was this? A uh, this is a bare knuckle fight. This is a underground unsanctioned fight. Ain't no telling what both of them was on. Earl Spence had more than Hennessy and uh and marijuana and lean in this system. And Sean Porter did too. Sean Porter had the stamina of a of a of a bull. Sean Porter had the stamina of a bull. No Vada. No pay per view numbers. That shit crazy. This this was this was a bootleg pay per view, bro. This is a bootleg pay per view. Come on, man. Come on. Somebody gotta come with the numbers, man. But let's talk about Tank, man. Yeah, it was an exhibition like Mayweather intention. This was nothing but an exhibition. That motherfucker Errol Spence was up there. I will pump you up. And he was the oak. He was the oak up in there. Y'all probably don't know who the oak is. Who know who the oak was? Who called themselves the oak? See if somebody know in the, in the chat. Who called themselves the oak? Bodybuilder. Uh, it's the most obvious one. Maybe Spence wasn't on no shit, man. I don't know. He probably was drunk going into the ring. He looked drunk in the ring versus Sean Porter. I said that. That nigga looked drunk. Nigga, eyes be like this and shit. One be open, one with... He look like Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> look like the nigga from the Black Panther. Forrest Whitaker and shit. Last king of Scotland, ass nigga. <laughs> last, last squig of Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, man. I'm cracking myself up, dog, nah, bro. Yes, I'm hating. What's... what's <laughs> Yes, I'm hating that. You, you got the drift? Yes. You won't get blocked for stating the obvious. Yes. <laughs> this nigga, Forrest Whitaker was the last king of Scotland. Earl Spence is the last squig of Scots. <laughs> Scotch. <laughs> that nigga the last king of Scotch. <laughs> Who can make that bill for you, boy? He the last king of the last squig of Scotch. That nigga look like a, uh, uh, that nigga look drunk as hell. He like drunk, drunk uh, Earl on the corner up there. That nigga in the ring, one eye open, one eye closed. He be drunk for all the events. That's why I don't do Vada. Like, yeah, I was like, man. Yeah, Ronald, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger was called the old J. P. Salute. He was drunk in the ring. I didn't know how slow he started. His face was looking like. He probably, he probably a bottom of the barrel dude. I guarantee you, he probably a. A five o'clock ass nigga. I'm telling you. He probably drink that top end shelf when he was like Yellow Beezy, 1738, Remy. He probably drink the Pat Ryan. He probably drink that when he when he go home, Earl Spence a bottom of the barrel, dude. He got that five o'clock look in his eye. He got that Everclear look. He probably be drinking corn liquor and shit. Everybody acting like they appalled and shit. Oh my god, Earl's a Earl's Earl's an alcoholic or it was just an yeah, why, why his daddy ain't getting no help for him? All these people around you, and ain't nobody tell you you need to get some help or get you a Lyft driver. He be showing up to fights drunk. Man, I remember, look here, man. I remember I was working at GM. The very, they, 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 they striker right now. And we had a layoff week, and we had the volunteers to come in. And, um... No, it was volunteer to come in. So I volunteered to come in because I didn't want to get unemployment away for that shit. I walk in the bathroom and one of the, te the team leaders, it's like, I work, I worked another shit, but it, we came in on the morning and one of the team leaders had like a, a bottle of sky lip, sky vodka. That motherfucker had to be like a fifth. He in the bathroom six in the morning, slugging the fifth of sky vodka, bro. Like drinking it, drinking it like it's water, bro. That's probably Earl Spence. Earl Spence probably, Earl Spence probably be before the press conference. That's why he ain't doing no vodka. That's why he ain't doing no Vada. Earl Spence be drinking that. He be in the bathroom and shit. He was drunk in that Sean Porter. If I'm telling you, nigga. 
The nigga was slow as hell. That nigga was. He, and once he figured, once he woke up, once he got a little bit of that water in the corner in his system, and they flip kind of got it out of his system, then he woke up. Had he came into the ring sober versus Sean Porter, man, he probably would end up stopping Sean Porter by the 11th round like I predicted. He been getting drunk. And, man, he probably had the Panama Lewis bottle in his corner. That motherfucker had the black bottle. That was nothing but lean in that corner. And that, I, need, I need to go watch that fight again. His bottle probably was black or tinted. He had that purple drink. It probably was some hen dog up in there. That motherfucker, that nigga was out there drunk as hell. That nigga was. <laughs> that nigga was. That nigga was drunk, bro. Told y'all, I can tell alcoholic, he came out there drunk. He got a problem. <laughs> He got a DF. He should got DFI versus Sean Porter. <laughs> no F FWI fighting while under the <laughs> fighting while under the influence, ass nigga. <laughs> that nigga should got a FWI fighting under the influence. <laughs> they should strip him of his belts and give him the Crawford. <laughs> that nigga be drunk and shit. How many low blows? Because he was drunk. That's why he got them low blows. He was drunk. You all notice when his eyes start opening up, he start hitting on the body. Yeah, nigga was drunk. And watch, he gonna go out there sober and lose, watch. He gonna fight Danny Garcia sober. He gonna be out there shaking his shit. He gonna be look like Shane Mosley and shit. <laughs> Fighting jittery and shit. They better keep a bottle of uh, a liquor in their back pocket or extra bottle. He said, if he had drunk these other three, he ain't fight nobody. <laughs> he ain't fight nobody, bro. What the fuck you fighting? You can't beat Mikey Garcia. If he was sober, maybe he would have stopped Mikey. Maybe he would have lost. But I can't say he was drunk. I can't say he was drunk before the Mikey fight. Because I was drunk I was while watching the Mikey fight. But I was watching motherfucking... Uh, the Spence, I mean the Porter fight on the big screen. I was I had clarity. He was drunk or he was under the influence of something. I guarantee you if they they fighter test come back, he got 90% of alcohol in his system. 10% of water. He's drunk. Just because I have one or two drinks before 10 minutes before I fight Sean Porter, I'm an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. Holly, his whole training camp is sweating out the liquor. That's it. He's just sweating out the liquor. Nah, Ruiz and Joshua ain't gonna be at no movie theater. Hell, dog. I wish. You just pay dub, dude. Same price. Pay a dub to watch it on his own. Wow. El <laughs> Jeff ain't fooling, bro. He said Spencer Benavidez in the back room snort lines. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, bro. Shit. But yeah, let's talk about tanking Gamble on a serious note, man. Uh I heard that uh I heard today they might make that pay per view with a stacked undercard. So y'all must see y'all gotta see how, if y'all ain't see the video. Uh and yeah, yeah, he was dancing in the ring. Hell yeah, he said, I don't even remember dancing. Come on, bro. He telling on himself. Cause the dude asked him. Uh, I guess they was at you know a night after the fight or after the fight they was at the club parking lot, and the dude asked him. He was like, "Hey man, it was lit when you hit the dance." He was like, "He said I don't even remember doing it. I don't even remember." The nigga was drunk in the ring, bro. He was drunk. He was drunk. <laughs> the nigga said, "I don't even remember. I don't even remember dancing in the ring." It was crazy, bro. Put Hennessy all in my water bottle. <laughs> California State Athletic Commission ain't even know it. <laughs> I beat Sean Porter ass and went home and drunk the rest of liquor. <laughs> oh, Rick Ross ass nigga. You ain't even know it. <laughs> you say it's not per it's personal now. <laughs> it's personal now. I got time today, dig. It's personal now. <laughs> You can stay. I ain't gonna block you. Yeah, I'm in my bag right now, nigga. Nico, 
whatever, Nick. I'm in my bag right now. You got the right to bitch you can play. I'm in my bag. Him and Jamil Charlo probably, they probably got the same dealer and shit. Black Fight fan, right? He said he used to deal that shit. He probably be dealing to Sean, dealing to Jamil and Errol, pulling up on them nigga. I got it. I got it. I got it. These my top customers. These my top customers. I bought a whole key. It ain't even stepped on. Errol be like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm really gonna knock out Terrence Crawford. Ah, snow. Let it snow. <laughs> let it let it snow. <laughs> let it snow. <laughs> Motherfuckers be in the back knocking the boots for real. Oh yeah. Terrence Crawford ain't got a chance. <laughs> Tyson Fury, Jamil Charlo, David Benavidez. Man, it's a party back there. It's a party. Somebody, somebody about to be Lynn Bias back there. <laughs> somebody career is over. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a white Friday that night. It's a white Friday. Chris Brown probably be back there too because he rode with the Charlos and shit. Shit, them niggas. Ooh, yeah. It's Tijuana's finest. Mel Carver doing lines there. Knock the Tony back to <laughs> Don't matter. He already got that L on his resume. Leo Santa Cruz back there too. Dale. Why are these dudes spending so much time focusing on other other people but can fight besides Spitz? That's because they don't want him to fight Spitz. That shit funny, bro. See, Dub say, worry, let's see who he going to have that same energy. Would he be? He got to fight Crawford to beat him. He ain't even going to fight him. Y'all not going to hold him accountable, neither. Y'all still going to say, oh, Crawford ain't done nothing. You know, tell Crawford to come up to 54. He said he worse than Popeye. But yeah, I heard Javante and Gamboa. We're going to stay on code this time. Javante and Gamboa uh, might go to pay per view. That'll be Showtime pay per view. And um, I don't even know how you can rationalize that. Seriously. How can you rationalize? Would y'all, well, real talk, would you pay for Tank and Gamboa? And tell me if you pay $80 for Tank and Gamboa, what would have to be the undercard? Because you think about it. I mean, even if they put Broner and Ivan Reddick on the undercard, that ain't good enough. Who else available? Tony and Jamel Charlo fighting the week before that, the 21st. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Andy Ruiz and AJ are already fighting, so they can't be on the undercard. Nor would they ever be. J-Rock not fighting uh, until next January 20, Jan- January 18th. He fighting the same place as Baturbi and Goldschick fighting that tonight. Uh... Um, who would be on the undercard? Gary Russell versus some somebody else? I go because it's in Atlanta. They really trying to get people to pay eighty bucks to see Javante Tank Davis versus uh 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 Gamboa. Then he posed a double back with a pay per view next year versus Leo Santa Cruz. So what Javante Tank Davis done is. Move up, Gary Russell. I don't think Warranty come back to next year. But let's say make him a great offer. That could be one. But uh, y'all super chat work probably not. But here, send it here. <laughs> here, I put the link in here. Hold on, man. I'm gonna keyboard ain't even working. C- come on, bro. Come on, go on, go on, Miles, go on. Here, you can cash after PayPal. Shit, I appreciate it. And shout out to uh, Flame On again. And the other homie that sent it from the construction shit the other week. I ain't want to put your name out there. No business out there. I just put it out there. Uh, homie that sent it last night. I forgot your day. Uh, uh, Ricky E always showing love. Shout out to Ricky E. Ronnie Boy Fresh always showing love. Uh, donating and shit. So I appreciate everybody that do, man. Uh, Kofi Universe. Y'all go check his channel out. Y'all go check out Big Faces Worldwide channel. Get on Mike. Uh, Corey Lee. Y'all know it's my boy. Dream Chaser always showing love. Shout out to him and uh, his LSU Tigers. I think they're the best team in football. Um, 
And I'm hoping I ain't missing nobody. So I will pay this bet to me. So shout out to him. So shout out to all the biggest man. So for real. Yeah, it took a coffee. Yeah, shout out to him. Ronaldo always show love. We always uh, talk. Miles drunk. No, I think he got used to the bathroom. Do you? He just, he bored. The kid gone. He just had some, uh, nah, he, his mom and daddy just had some more puppies. I got to sell them. We keeping one of them. His leg uh, ain't working, so we got to take him to the vet and see what's wrong with his leg. I named him Rock because he looked like a rock rider, but he not. No, Charlo uh, Harris are fighting uh, December 21st. I heard it, it, it came official yesterday. I heard they're going to fight in New York or Vegas. So, um, But they tripping now. But I, I told y'all Javante could be going on pay-per-view. It could change. Um, but Showtime is, is they done. They done. Showtime done. But Javante did say he's the next pay-per-view star on Twitter today. So, And people saying, like, they telling me that Gamboa, they telling me that Gamboa is a formidable foe. Gamboa got stopped by somebody. He retired. Then he almost got beat up in Mexico. He got a give. Then he got a give versus Jason Sosa. Like, really, man, Gamboa and Tank is a glorified bum bash. Maybe, maybe when Gamboa was in his prime, like right when he fought Crawford or a, lot, a little bit before that at like 26 or 30, he probably fucked Javante up. You know what I'm saying? But they can't rationalize putting this on pay-per-view. They couldn't rationalize putting Tevin. But Tevin was a unification ball, but they still couldn't ra ra rationalize that. This dude, this dude jumped up. Sean, salute. This dude jumped up. Yeah, the, the, the I can't pronounce his name. Castano. This dude jumped up another weight class to still be fighting featherweights and uh and suit and, and, and two featherweights or super featherweight. Tank jumped up two weight classes to still smart fight a featherweight. So Leo Santa Cruz gonna jump up to thirty five. And, and fight for a regular title versus Flores. Then he gonna jump up another weight class and fight Tank. This, this is a joke. This is a joke. But when De hey, Devin Haney call him out, you ain't heard him say nothing about Devin Haney. Quiet as a church mouse. Devin Haney called him out, he ain't saying nothing. Devin Haney called him out, or... Floyd smarter than that. He De Tank got something to say. As soon as Tevin say something, Tevin say, Tuh. He about to say thank you. Anything with a T, he on Tevin here. But when Devin Haney said it, he ain't got nothing to say to him. Who win, Morris or Gamboa? Many will say Gamboa. I don't know, bro. Morris, I messed up. In they prime, Gamboa beat his ass. That's easy. In they prime, Gam Morris probably get stopped. But he talked all that. And th oh, this dude moved up two weight classes, dog. This dude moved up two weight classes to get a regular belt. Wait till Lomachenko uh, drop back down the weight and get a championship belt. Peep that out. This dude jumped up two weight classes, bro. I mean, he jumped up another weight class to still be fighting uh, dudes that's not at his weight class. What they tell Gary? What made to tell Gary Russell? Oh, you know he at one twenty six right now. He ain't even at one thirty. Maybe. Maybe free cash loop. Maybe if he jump up to one thirty, we can uh we can do something. What? Then he calls Gary Russell on the phone. He called Gary Russell on the phone and tell him to stop picking on Tank. Tank is the like the most lightest fighter out there. Tank is the most lightest fighter out there. Tank didn't jump up to thirty five to fight Lomachenko. He jumped up to thirty five to get. To get a free, to get the regular belt, then when Lomachenko drop back down the way to be a super champion, then become the real champ. Tank is the ta tank is the tank is the black Leo Santa Cruz. He said Tank the biggest weight bully in box. He the he the black Santa Cruz, bro. Him and Santa Cruz the same person. Don't want to fight nobody, but he got the he got the he really got he really trife life, bro. To really think somebody about to pay eighty, what 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 do Mayweather live at? Is Mayweather gonna gonna send everybody eighty dollars to buy this pay per view? 
he might as well have just stayed at 130 and fought Leo Santa Cruz there. But you know what? They promised Gamboa a fight. Gamboa couldn't make 35, 30 no more, and Tank couldn't make 35. Tank a joke and should have had a role in the Joker movie, Clown Ass. You ain't lying. Nigga should have been. He is Arthur. He is Arthur. He real, real selective to, about who he go at, though. He'll go at people in the media, but Devin Haney say something, he on hush mode. The shit won't, that shit won't go back. It, it ain't going to go past five, I agree. It won't go by, past five. You speaking facts. It probably won't even make it out of the second or third round game. Boy, done, bro. I watched him struggle with Sosa and uh, lose to old boy. Mikey Garcia at 140. Tank ain't for Nobody made me believe he could beat Mikey. This nigga moved up and wait to wait till Lomachenko dropped the belt and then become the real belt. Shout out to Simon Child, though. That is, is, that's just like, dude, are they fucking serious? Even Leo Santa Cruz versus Tank at pay-per-view. Like, dude, I would never pay for that. As much as I want to see Leo Santa Cruz get the shit beat out of him, I don't want to pay. I don't want to see it. I mean, they fought at 130, maybe I understand it. Leo Santa Cruz is willing to move up two weight classes to lose to Tank, or let's he see something Tank he can beat instead of fight Gary Russell. I mean, real talk, I remember I was talking, we in Southside, I was talking, and um, this before I was, uh, I, I thought Terrence, I, I found out Earl Spence was a fraud, and he was, you know, he didn't want to fight Terrence, and he was, he came on and shit and shout out to him, Southside Boxing 608, I'm going to subscribe over there, he was live the other day too, and he, he said some real funny shit, but it made, it made me apply, apply this to Gary Russell, he said, man, did Earl Spence kill somebody? The way they scared to fight Earl Spence, did he kill somebody with with his bare hands or somebody? He killed somebody in the ring we don't know about. And I and I, I just I don't mean none no none malicious about it. I know we lost a few fighters this, this year, but like did Gary Russell kill somebody? Seriously, did Gary Russell kill somebody? Because no offense, and I met the guy like real shit. I met Gary Russell in person. Cool nigga, cool as hell. Walking around the Barclays Center by himself, no security. Like, real talk, cool dude. But when I watch Gary Russell, he a good fighter. Quad needs to be a great fighter. But I don't really see nothing to be scared of. Like, I, I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking GT Entertainment Salute. I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking that, uh, man, y'all know Tank ain't no bum. He a bum basher. <laughs> he a bum basher. That's what we saying. I'm like, like, dude, he is a bum. The way he moving, he a bum. But when I watch Gary Russell fight, I just think, like, I think Tank can beat him. I think Tank got a chance. When I look at Santa Cruz, he ain't got no chance. Gary Russell must be that deal. We must not ain't we must ain't seen Super Saiyan Gary Russell. Because he be talking greasy, ain't nobody trying to pull his whole card. Nobody. Even secure Stevens say, if I don't get Josh Warrington next after I beat Joet Gonzalez, I'm moving up. Like Gary Russell cleaned out a division and didn't have to throw one punch at none of these dudes. Leo Santa Cruz, Abner Mares, Scott Quigg, um, Rigadal ain't talked about moving up. He moved down to 118 after his next fight. Uh who else you had a division? Javante Love fighting on 26 pounders and 22 pounders. He ain't said nothing. Josh Warrington, he talk, acting like he want to fight, but he don't want to fight neither. Lee Selby ain't want to fight. This dude legitimately cleaned out a division. He legitimately cleaned out a division when I happened to beat these dudes. When I heard Secure Stevenson say, hey, if I don't uh, get Warrington next, I'm moving up. I said, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel you. I wouldn't want to go fuck with Gary Russell neither. You would think when Loma beat Gary Russell, these jokers would have uh, been fighting him. They know that wasn't as easy as it looked. It wasn't easy. And Gary Russell was dehydrated, though.
normal say uh say uh Tank ain't fought nobody. He fought Pedraza. That's it. Tank don't think he could beat Gary Rose. Tank, Tank all all talk nobody. You ain't lying. He be wolfing like a motherfucker at certain people. When when he beat uh Ricardo Nunes, bro, and they asked this dude about you want to fight Gary Russell, he turned he said no and turned his head like no. I ain't call you. Here he come. Shake. Bye. You just was doing some other shit with your mouth. Go on. Quit using the age. Salvador Sanchez was one of the greatest Mexicans of all time. He was only 23. Age, not an excuse. I agree. Let me go let Miles out. Yeah, I'll be right back. Come on. Yeah, my fat. But uh yeah, Salvador Sanchez, he beat Azuma Nelson. He beat that master regarding yeah, Salvador Sanchez, one of the baddest motherfuckers out there. He was only 23 before you got in that car accident. So age ain't no excuse. If you're a world champion, you're supposed to be ready. Um You can't blame Shakur for that. And I ain't blame him. I, I understand it. I understand his stance on it, bro. Pedraza just got his ass kicked by Cepeda. Yeah, true. But that was, you know, a different weight class. Gary Russell going to have to change his name to Lil Tevin for Tank to fight him. <laughs> that nigga scared. I mean, Gary Russell must be a must be a legend, bro, on a DMV. He must be a legend. But hey, they I mean Tank, they trying to put Tank on pay per view. You know, he ain't and he ain't gonna fight Lomachenko neither, bro. He going Lomachenko had to look hella vulnerable. It was so funny. A New York 118 it said he want to fight Lomachenko at the World Series of Boxing at 126. Emmanuel Nevada is gonna move up and probably fight Lomachenko at 126. That's who gonna Lomachenko gonna be fighting. He gonna fight Brachet. He gonna fight uh probably uh or Brachet. He might fight Brachet and Jamil Heron. Uh, depending on that, uh, he might end up fighting Old Boy. He might end up going back down to 126 and being undisputed there. Then he might go to 26, fight a new UI, fight Emmanuel Nervedes. So they got it all planned out. So Lomachenko ain't got to fight uh, Tank. Because the narrative is that Tank is scared of him. So by a lot of people's mindset, Tank, Eddie Sports Money Salute. Tank, uh, Lomachenko already beat Tank because he's scared to fight him. Tank finna duck Secure soon also. Yeah, Secure be up there in a couple years. Talking about pay per view star Floyd Mayweather smoking. I ain't gonna pay if he ain't fighting Lomachenko or Devin Haney. I ain't paying for it, bro. For real, them the only pay per view fights right now, dog. And really, Devin Haney ain't a pay per view fight, but I just pay to see it just cause. And really, Lomachenko in a way, in a sense, ain't a pay per view fight. But Tank might be trying to cash out once he get the own Lomachenko. Yeah, like it ain't even like Lomachenko. Look, Gary Russell still, life went on for him after Lomachenko. Lomachenko ain't even going to stop Tank. Unless Tank just mentally quit. Gary Russell versus Devin Haney at 35. That'd be interesting. Real, real interesting. Y'all so funny. Tank is not scared. Allen Money Mayweather has a game plan for that man. Nobody scared. That nigga scared. I don't give a fuck what you say. That nigga scared. Stop protecting these scary ass niggas. These niggas. That nigga was asked by a local media member down there after his last fight. You want to fight Gary Russell? This nigga look like he's seen a ghost. No. And then Mayweather step in and answer the question. That nigga scared, bro. He's scared. I don't care what y'all. Y'all can say, ain't none of these fighters scared. Fuck that. A lot of these fighters are scared. If Lomachenko fool for Tank. Take the fight then. Take the fight. 
This dude ain't moving right, dog. At the end of the day, it's always, oh, this fighter need to do this, or this fighter need to do it's never, it's never the responsible party's responsibility to do something. When it comes to uh, Craw when it comes to Spence, oh Crawford need to jump through this hoop. Oh, he need to get the sonic ring. Oh, he need to be uh Dr. Mr. Robotic or Eggman. Oh, when it come to uh when it come to uh Javante, uh uh Tevin need to do all this. Oh, Leo need to do oh Gary Russell need to jump through a hoop, spin around. And, and, and jit wild and jit wild diddy bopping at the same time. It's always somebody else. The ducky nigga don't never had no no uh responsibility for his actions. Never. Tank ain't did shit in this sport to to merit like to merit nothing. You know what I'm saying? Tank want to fight every other one twenty two pounder, every hundred thirty pounder. I mean, every not every 130 pounder, every 26 pounder, but he don't want to fight Gary Russell. He said, pretend I mean, WC Gary should get the belt. Leo stop him. Leo ain't going to fight him. When it came to Leo Santa Cruz, oh, Gary Russell need to be more active. It, it ain't never Leo need to fight him. It ain't never Tank need, oh, people just say, oh, Tank can beat Loma Tank. I think that too. I don't think so. I'm on 24, I'm on Leo here. At the end of the day, it is what it is with Leo. They need to fight each other. Jamal and Andre need to fight each other. They making Canelo more popular and more famous than he need to be. That's just what it boiled down to. So when you're going to acknowledge that Aaron said he's not paying for Bud to fight any other top welterweights besides Spence because he loses money. That is what it is. He said it. He wants to Spence fighting, that's it, I guess, if he said it. That is what it is. He gonna just sit there and wait his turn. I ain't the promoter. It kind of, it kind of, it kind of, it's not to sound right because PBC ain't willing to send nobody over there. They offered Keith Thurman. They offered Sean Porter. They offered uh Danny Garcia too. Mo twice. I think I offered Danny twice. So PBC ain't willing to send nobody. Bob Merriman ain't willing to do no business. So it may boil down to Crawford walking. Crawford go over to PBC. He do what he got to do. But Bob Arum don't run nothing. That's the problem. Y'all listening to Bob Arum and Todd DeBuff run everything. That's y'all problem. Y'all listening to Bob Arum say. Bob Arum say, what I said yesterday was a lie. Today I'm telling the truth. You can't be on Canelo head. How? You can't be on Canelo head. How you going to be on Canelo head? Other than the Phil Clembuterol test, what can you say about him, to be honest, compared to these other niggas? Earl, Sp Earl Spence might have a career where he, don't he may never get to the amount of opponents that Canelo fought. Or, I mean, the level of opponents he fought. That's a fact. We can talk about the Phil Clembuterol test and all that shit. I'm far from the biggest Canelo fan. I'm far from the biggest Canelo fan. But at the end of the day, Earl Spence, Earl Spence would probably never do what Canelo did. Never fought the level of opponents. So before you try to get on Canelo to make him, oh, you need to fight Jamal. He ain't got to fight Jamal Charlo. He ain't got to fight them niggas, man. That nigga is the Mexican Floyd Mayweather right now. He ain't got to fight him. Them motherfuckers just want to check. Charlo and Andre just want to check. That's it. They just want to check. Them motherfuckers, man, don't want to win. They want to check. They want an opportunity to get paid. Say what you want to say about Canelo. Them, these niggas all the same age or a little bit older than him. He did way more than them. Trout, Cotto, Mayweather, Golovkin twice, Danny Jacobs. Like, nigga, them niggas need to catch up, man. All these niggas want to sit around here ducking each other. Nickel and diamond payday, but don't nobody want to fight to be the best. None of these niggas want to be the best. Why PBC got to go over there? Because they don't have a network contract. Easy. And they going broke anyway, so why not let him front the bill? He said Bomac will be on IBFP, IBFP channel tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Why not? If if if, if PBC fighters don't want to travel, tell tell Fox or Showtime to give them a network deal. Crawford got a network deal. Danny Jacobs got a network deal. Canelo got a network deal. Demetrius Andrade got a network deal. Why don't Showtime sign Charlo? Why don't Fox sign Errol Spence? Why? If they believe if they believe in these niggas so much, why they don't sign? Uh, hold on. Why they why they don't believe in them? Why they don't believe in them? Why they don't believe in them like that? So why PBC fighters gotta travel? Because they don't have a network deal. I, I answer questions real talk right now. If I have an issue with Earl, man, nigga, look here, dude. I got I just explained that. I ain't even trying to repeat myself. My issue with Earl is this. And I, this is the last time I'm saying on this stream. The motherfucker said, I want to fight the out. Oh, he was starving. I had, you know, these niggas won't fight me. Danny Shine. He get on top, but then he don't want to get nobody an opportunity. He said, I'm strap season, strap season. Now he business season. I'm my own boss. Oh, I got to ask Al Heyman to fight Terrence Crawford. Like, come on, bro. He's a fraud. Why? You, oh, I mean, I ain't never heard. If you want to get all the bills, why you got to get them in, in a Pacific order? They ain't say you got to go A, B, C, D. You can get the IBF, WBC, WBO, W Super WA belt. Come on. My problem with Errol Spence as a boxer, he's a fraud. And when I heard that his team didn't think he could beat Terrence Crawford, and I heard it again yesterday, they don't believe he could beat Terrence Crawford. That's why they don't want that fight to happen. There's nothing more I can say. I keep saying the same shit over and over again. The box community ain't that big. It ain't that big. The dude is a fraud. How you going to say you call yourself Free Smoke Jr.? Right? You call yourself Free Smoke Junior, Chevy, right? But you don't want all the smoke. How can you say you want all the belts when you fight Danny Garcia? And you could be fighting Terrence Crawford. How you say you want all, how you say Sean Porter can't sell a family diner out? I fight Pacquiao next. Sean Porter can wait. I fight Pacquiao next. All of a sudden, when it came to Sean, I'm fighting Sean Porter next. Terrence Crawford going to come nigga fraud, bro. Y'all niggas try to live in y'all little la la land and y'all want to criticize Canelo and y'all want to criticize this fighter, that fighter. Why ain't Earl Spence willing to fight Terrence Crawford? Why? Why he got to get all three belts first? Why he got to say I want 60% of the share? He a fraud. Y'all can live in y'all little fantasy land. All y'all say, oh, Crawford need to jump this fence. Crawford need to turn around and do the and do the uh, hula hoop. Crawford need to do this. Now, oh, Crawford, ain't, if he ain't did this and he ain't, he ain't that good, Earl Smith should be able to go over there and beat him up. He got all these excuses. He went on the belts. So he going to sit around waiting on Pacquiao. I was waiting on Keith. Now he's waiting on Pacquiao. Like, nigga, beat him. If you can whoop his ass, why, why do you need to whoop nigga's ass in order? You was willing to fight Pacquiao for no belt. No unification. And make Sean Porter wait. Now when it comes to Bud, all oh, got to get all the belts now. Why? Oh, I need all this money to fight Bud. Why? Because you're going to lose. He don't believe he's going to win. I just said that. They don't believe they're going to win. So stop playing the role like, like y'all niggas don't know what's going on. Like niggas against Errol Spence. Nigga the biggest fraud in boxing not named Tank. And Leo Santa Cruz. He's a walking contradiction. He's a walking contradiction. People try to, they try to understand. I don't understand why this happened and that happened. And they try to play stupid. Like, nigga, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. It's, it's not being wrote in cursive. It's not being wrote in hieroglyphics. It's not being wrote in Spanish. This is in clear English. This is in clear English. We want a Pacific fight. He don't want to give us that fight. Y'all know what it is, man. Everybody about to kiss these niggas' asses. I don't kiss the niggas a lie. This nigga asking for, oh, I want 60-40 or, oh, he did. come on, man. He's a fraud. They know what's going to happen, man. Even Floyd said that's the best fighter in the world. He had already sport. He did. Oh, it's the Crawford, pound for pound. He know what's up. Crawford do got a network deal. Shut up. You know what the fuck you talking about, Antonio Whitner. You don't even, you uninformed. 
Crawford got a network deal. Danny got a network. All them niggas got network deals. Charlo all talk but dismissed Eddie Hearn when he tried to contact him saying the zone is the dead zone. Them, them dudes just want to pay they, bro. That's it. Charlo, Charlo ain't no different, bro. And I like the Charlos. Them niggas don't, they don't, they all, they want low rewards, low rewards for high reward. reward. Canelo beat the shit out of Jamal Charlo. And everybody in here know it. Can't nobody look at Jamal Charlo last few fights and say he'll beat Canelo. Given the circumstances, given that you might get robbed. Given that he might be able to, you know, Capri Sun juice up or whatever. Can't nobody with a straight face tell me. If they somebody gave you, somebody said, if you bet on the right fighter, I'll give you a million dollars. Who gonna win this fight? Somebody say, if you if, if you pick who wins, Jamal Charlo Canelo, you get a million. Who you gonna pick? Ain't nobody picking no damn Jamal Charlo with a with a brain. He's still fighting top. He's been there for seven, almost seven years, bro. He been there for seven years. What's been done to Sean Porter that ain't been done already? Mikey Garcia wasn't a welterweight. Lamont Peterson was never considered a top welterweight. So what type, what type welterweight he fought besides Sean Porter? Who? Who? Chris Algieri? Broke down Kell Brook? Nigga ain't fighting no top welterweights, nigga. He barely beat Sean Porter. He barely beat him. The minute he fought a top welterweight, he almost lost. Y'all like he just blowing out the con. Y'all swear to God he was gonna just roll over Sean Porter. What happened? What I tell y'all? I said it's gonna be a close fight. Sean Porter, dog. Sean Porter, dog. All of a sudden, after the fight, Sean Porter get all the respect. Before it, it was Sean Porter a bum. Oh, Sean Porter can't stop the fan. Errol, Sean, Errol Spence gonna stop Sean Porter in four or five rounds. Now everybody saying, "Oh, I said Sean Porter's gonna be a tough fight." I said Sean Porter is going to be the hard. Oh, Sean Porter. Oh, look at Sean Porter. Not all Sean Porter get all the accolades when he almost beat Errol Spence. Y'all some niggas frauds, man. He used to fought Mikey and uh, Porter. Man, I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Mikey ain't even no fucking welterweight, dude. <laughs> nigga fought Mikey and, and Porter this year. Man, nobody even gave him nigga. Sean Porter was a bigger underdog than, dog than Mikey Garcia, bro. Let that marinate like neck bone juice. Let that marinate like neck bone. This nigga Earl Spence said, I'm free smoke junior. No, nigga, you bag season. You bag season. You begging for a Pacquiao fight. Who said this? Oh, when Keith Thurman come back, nobody going to talk about Terrence Crawford. We still talk about Terrence Crawford? I want the Pacquiao fight now. It's always some bulls. Imagine if Terrence Crawford, Crawford's in this position. I, I'm gonna wait for Keith. I'm gonna wait for Keith Thurman. I'm gonna wait for y'all. Be killing them, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't even sound right, dog. And when it come to Charlo, he in the same spot Crawford. Y'all big. I mean, Charlo ain't gonna beat no Canelo. He wanna pay that. He going to sneak in his ass beat. He getting his ass beat. Ain't none of y'all stupid enough to believe that. And y'all and y'all believing? Oh, Earl would beat Canelo. Earl could beat Canelo. Who believe that? Huh? Who believe that? Who believe? Who's stupid enough to believe that now? Y'all was going hard in the paint on that. You a hater, CJ? Earl can beat Canelo. Y'all had all these stupid YouTube fools saying that they can't beat no Canelo. They so said, man, the bill in excuses if Spence lose to Danny Akira. All his back, his neck, he should have had a tune-up. His tooth was hurting. His foot was hurting. You might tell him get drunk and go driving on Ferrari. Pac-Man going to mess around and beat Spence like he did. He do that, man. I'll be laughing to the bank. I'll be pulling for Spence, but I'll be laughing to the bank. Well, Bud ain't fight Pac. The same reason why Earl ain't fight Pac. Canelo needs to fight Andrade after Kovalev. For what? He only need to fight. What would he get for beating Andrade? To be honest, I'd like to see it. And I know he been ducking Andrade, but what would he get for beating Andrade? The same thirty five fucking million he get for fighting. If you get thirty five million to fight almost anybody else, why would I fight him? Why I gotta be? Why I gotta be the only dude fighting the fighting the best guys out here? You got dudes like Errol Spence fight Mikey and Lamont and Lucampo, and people saying he the next, he the greatest thing. You got guys like Javante Tank Davis fighting Gamboa and Leo Santa Cruz on pay-per-view. 
You know what I'm saying? You got Wilder fighting Luis Ortiz. On why well, I gotta go out there and, and, and fight that? He don't need belt. He don't need same thing with Floyd for Shane. He said, "Man, keep that WBA shit around your hip. I don't want that belt. You don't need belts." But he is a hypocrite. He said he want all the belts. Boys, that's the biggest lie in boxing. Because ain't nobody willing to sacrifice, compromise, no money. Ain't nobody willing to cross the street to get no belts. Ain't none of these dudes willing to do nothing. Ain't none of these dudes willing to do nothing. Why they want to fight him? The money. The money. That's it. They want to check. You ain't hear nothing I've been saying the whole time. I'm gonna see Canelo versus Chenko. I think I think Darryl Chenko got a nice style for him. This man Bevel called put put Joshua Batazzi, who's a damn prospect, called out Joshua, but uh, prospect Zerto. I think he'd beat the shit out of Zerto. I don't know, but I, just, I don't know, man. Boasi can fight. I think Boasi will beat him. Maybe a little bit more seasons. Romero is just not that good to me no more. He used to be good at one point, but. I don't know. I could be tripping. People think Ghost be good. We about to find out in a couple hours. Um, people think uh, Carlos Adam is good. I don't see it. But I don't see everything. Who Crawford beat? Make him pound for pound. Beat everybody. He ain't dug nobody. He unified all the belts. Just like Lomachenko about to get all the belts. And they about to call him pound for pound. He was fighting chicken noodle soup, Luke Campbell soup, Corella, and all the other motherfuckers he fought. Crawford beat the number one dude in his division who beat the boogeyman in Matisse. He stopped him when Danny did. Postal was number one fighter at 140. He beat Yorkers Gamboa. The same guy, Danny Garcia, I mean, excuse me, the same guy, uh, Mikey Garcia ducked and went to court with with, uh, with Tom Brady not to fight him. He got all the belts. If he ain't, pop, if he, if he, if he lightweight and he fake, tell Earl Spence to take his panties off and fight him. That'd be kill. Who we, if he ain't fought nobody, Errol Smith should be able to go in there and knock him out. Simple as that. If he ain't fought nobody, go in there and knock him out. Knock him out. But guess what? He gotta, he gotta, he gotta, he gotta go find his, he gotta go find his big boy drawers to put on. All he got is panties in his dresser. Canelo struggle versus. No, he did not. Canelo beat Jacobs every round in my opinion. Y'all be making y'all own narratives up. But keep it real, Crawford need a real test at four. A real test for what? Who is Earl Spence real test at 47, bro? Who? 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 Who Earl Spence? Who, who make Earl Spence this golly nigga at 47? Who? Who make Earl Spence the Floyd Mayweather the division? What makes Earl Spence the boogeyman? The nigga went 12 rounds with a lightweight. Sean Porter, come on, man. Julio Diaz beat him. Keith Thurman beat him more aggressively. Kell Brook beat him more aggressively. Come on, bro. What Earl Spence been there six, seven years at the division? Six, seven years at the division. And all he got to show for it is Sean Porter and a beat up Kell Brook and, and, and a blown up uh, uh, fed, super featherweight Mikey Garcia. Fuck up out of here, dude. And then they almost lost to motherfucking Sean Porter. He almost lost to Sean Porter. Let him fuck up out of here, dude. Nigga ain't no. Come on, he need a test. Well, did Floyd Mayweather need a test when he jumped up to 47 to fight Carlos Bartomir? Did Otoro Gotti says you need to do this, that, this, that, and then third when he came up to 140? Did Oscar De La Hoya say, oh, Floyd need to beat this guy before he fight me at 54? Shut up. Need no fucking test, nigga. Nigga beat the shit out of Errol Spence right now, nigga. Errol Spence just got two belts. Bud didn't have six belts. He killing me with that. Oh, he, he need a test. No, the test needed to test Errol Spence's chin. <laughs> he struggled with Lara for sure. And Triple G in the first fight. Second fight, I thought he beat him. They be killing me with that shit. Oh, he need to do this, that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. And then, for what? He offered Danny Garcia ass whooping. Danny Garcia did not want that ass whooping. Sean Porter won the belt. 
He offered Sean Porter to fight. Sean Porter said, no, we loyal to Al Heyman. He offered Keith Thurman to fight. Came out of Keith Thurman mouth. Oh, Keith talked all that shit and it was time to fight. He didn't want to fight. Y'all niggas just some bitches, dog. Real talk. I'm calling that nigga who said that a bitch. <laughs> nigga, but tell that nigga take his panties off and find his big boy. Take the pink panties off. The Victoria pink panties off. And scrap. Hey, nigga, everybody need to do everything else. Oh, he need to do this. He need to do that. Nigga, how about you whip my ass? Nigga's a fraud. Nigga, a drunk, an alcoholic, a pothead, a lean head, whatever you want to call him. He's a, he's a drunk. Now, if if, if 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 Terrence Crawford wore a shirt that said 105 proof alcohol value, I bet Errol Spence would, uh, uh fight him then. He'd fight that bottle. He'd fight that bottle. If, if Terrence Crawford dressed up as a Patron bottle for Halloween, Errol Spence would straight to, uh, straight fight him. He dressed up like a, a double lean cup. He'll fight him. He dressed up like a a, a snowflake. He dressed up like a bag of uh, a, a bag of snow. He'll fight him. He dressed up like a marijuana bag. He'll fight him, won't he? Always trying to change the narrative up. Nigga, I'm winning life and death with Sean Porter. Kill Brook beat him. Had an easier time. He went life and death with Sean. Almost died in the fight. Tell him what's up, who was the only one rocking with Sean. Yeah, Ghetto Mike was the only one rocking with y'all can subscribe to him. Porter in the top four, that ain't hard to beat, bro. He got a belt. <laughs> y'all just saying how he almost lost to Yugis. <laughs> y'all just saying how he almost lost to Yugis, dog. Oh, he, he don't even deserve to be here. He lost to Yugis. He lost to Yugis. So you telling me a guy... Who lost his last fight, basically. Let y'all tell it. Almost beat the, the lineal, the elite Errol Spence. A guy who lost to young master Amir Mon, Yugis? So you telling me Amir Mon the real champ? <laughs> Come on, bro. Y'all y'all just changed the narrative of someone. Just say, hey, man, we scared of Bud. We don't think Errol can win the fight. I respect you. He said Gamboa moved up from 26 to fight. No, it wasn't the 26, was it? I think you're right. He did move up. Let me double check. You was right about that one. I think he had already fought there before, though, if I'm not mistaken. I could, Let me tell you one real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick. Let me see. No, he was already there. Yeah, he was already there. I don't know what the fuck that is. WBA white title. To be honest, I can't tell, bro. It's a world light title. Intern WBA world light title. Let me check his next fight. Hold on, give me a minute. Now he, now he didn't jump up from super featherweight. Ricky East appreciating the super chat. He didn't jump up from super featherweight. I mean, he didn't jump up from what you say it was. Hold on, let me double check. You said it was what? He jumped up from what? Let me find that comment. Hold on. Hold on. No, he didn't move up from 26. Super featherweight is, uh, 26 is featherweight. No, he didn't jump up from 26. He was at 30, and then he's at 35, and then he fought Crawford at 35. So he jumped up. He didn't jump up in that one weight class. He jumped up from, he was already at 30. He only had one fight at 35. Then he, then he fought Crawford. Before that, he had a fight at 30. So he was at super featherweight, fight at lightweight. Then he fought Crawford at, uh, at uh at lightweight, so he had already had a fight at lightweight. You ain't gonna get me with no bullshit. I I research that shit. 
Crawford was waiting on Thurman. He he was waiting on Thurman, and Thurman never came back. I think I think Thurman could have gave him a run for his money though. At the time, Canelo would knock Spence ass out exactly. I believe if Canelo ain't juicing, I believe it if Canelo ain't juicing. You know, don't believe it. Stamina booster is juicing, bro. Someone said Bud had issues with Gamboa, the same guy who put, who he put on his ass. He, he did. Early on, he was getting out. It was. The speed was a little bit too much for him. But he adjusted. He figured him out. Yeah, that was that was a, the first few rounds in that fight. That was back and forth. And then he switched softball. He figured Gamboa. I thought he was going to lose that fight. He said his own family and friends said he was going to lose that fight. And he went in there and outboxed him. But at the time, nigga, a lot of motherfuckers didn't know shit about him. I think he might have came off a win versus Klimov, and that was like a boring performance. He had beat Prescott. He had beat up Ricky Burns by the end. And um, he put it on Gamboa ass, though, at the end. Nah, man, nah, nigga, y'all niggas, y'all, you be telling I'm dick pulling, but y'all dick pull Earl Spence 24-7. Like, damn, you ever go to Fred Channel like, dog, you dick pulling too much, bro. No, you don't never do that shit, nigga. Dream Chase, you just want to hear what you want to hear, nigga. That's just what it boiled down to. You you want a nigga tell you what you what you want to hear. Nigga, I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the real shit. Bud best win is probably over uh, Victor Postal. Same guy Danny paid to step aside. Who Earl Smith's best win? What's his best win? A, a close decision with Sean Porter, a nigga who got two or three losses? Come on. A beat up Kell Brook? Come on. Mikey Garcia, which he was supposed to pulverize him, and tell him Quentin Williams and tell him uh, why Mikey Garcia ain't getting Pacquiao next and Earl Smith's not. Come on, man. You ain't fuck with me, nigga. You better go, you better, you better go put some weight on before you come back here. Fuck up out of here. Turby and knocking Ghostfic out, out of green. Teal will stop Comey. I've been calling it for months. Man, all right. For sure. You, I don't I don't have no feelings about that fight. No, y'all niggas need to stop. <laughs> Nigga almost lost to Sean Porter and all of a sudden. Nigga, Sean Porter almost y'all let y'all he lost to Yugis. And then Earl Spence turned around almost lost to Sean Porter. Come on, man. Y'all talk about, oh, Canelo. Can that man nigga can't even beat Erickson Luger right now. <laughs> he better sit his ass at 47 because he move up. It's over with. Be killing me, dog. Yeah, salute Patrick Day, man. I seen an interview with him. It was motivating. Nigga said, he got two belts. It took him seven years to get two belts. You've been with Al Heyman for all seven? Come on. And every fighter was on your side of the street? <laughs> Come on, man. He said, Porter, Danny. If Danny beat everybody on his resume, why didn't why Danny pay Victor Posto to step aside? Huh? Mondanero, why did Danny pay Victor Posto to step aside? I thought so. Why Danny Danny Garcia played Victor Post to step step aside? <laughs> huh? Why Mikey Garcia duck Gamboa? Why go why go sit out and fight in top breaking court instead of fighting Gamboa? Come on, man. Y'all niggas be trying to fuck with me. Y'all can't fuck with me, dog. He said, uh, almost don't. Did Canelo almost lost the try? He almost, yeah, you're right, almost don't matter. But y'all telling me how. He like this this guy. I ain't never seen a Terrence Crawford fight close. Never. Never. Terrence Crawford and Mikey Garcia, Crawford will stop him. He ain't gonna sit there and play with the nigga for 12 rounds. Come on, nigga was getting his ass beat by Kell Brook for half the fight. Come on, y'all niggas act like Errol Spence is not don't lose a round. Come on, man. That motherfucker was getting getting the he was getting that motherfucker Kell Brook was working his ass out like both legs. Sean Porter was getting off on his ass. What you talking about? He's getting off on his ass. Y'all niggas crazy as hell. 
Nigga was getting off on beating his head in. He don't even know how to. He don't even know how to slip a jab. This nigga over here just bad putting his head back, putting his head. That motherfucker can't, man. Come on, man. That motherfucker can't fight for real, man. That nigga ain't got no boxing, but nigga no footwork on the on the back foot. Don't know how to move his head. Come on, man. Y'all know what's gonna happen to that dude, man. If 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 the Crawford don't get him, somebody else gonna get him. If Crawford don't get him, somebody else. It don't even matter. Do y'all believe that he gonna go up and beat somebody? Tony Tony Harrison will beat him. Will beat the shit out of him. Every day that Jamil Charlo talking about I spar with Earl Spence and it's tough. I look at him like you a snack cake, dude. You in here struggling with his bum ass? Come on. You in there struggling with this? And you need to get away from Derrick James. That motherfucker, the Black Freddie Rose. He don't even teach no defense. Your defense is your face. Your defense, your face. Do you think it's it is fear, nigga? It may not be fear from the fighters, but it is fear. Talking about it's no money. And it's always about money. Niggas getting paid regardless. You don't get paid regardless. And you ain't supposed to be no fighter with these weak ass resumes talking about money. You supposed to be building a foundation for a resume. It ain't no money. ESPN opened up the pocketbook. They just gave Crawford and Air They just gave Crawford and Mir Khan ten million dollars in guaranteed pay per view money, dude. Ten million dollars, bro. Crawford guarantee was higher than Earl Spence and Sean Porter pay per view guarantee. Amir Khan guarantee from ESPN was higher than Errol Spence and Porter, Porter guarantee. Errol was guaranteed too. Porter was guaranteed too. Together, four million dollars. Amir Khan made five million in guaranteed money. So what are you saying? ESPN willing to pay? Crawford made five point five million in guarantee. What are you talking about? It ain't nothing about money. Niggas about them niggas losing power. They know they man's gonna get beat, or they scared he gonna get beat. Niggas wanna talk about purses, purses. Crawford made more guaranteed. Crawford and Mirkind made more guaranteed paper view money than Errol Spence's last two guarantees. Come on. Errol Spence talking about 60 40 versus Terrence Crawford, but he let Mikey Garcia move up and probably get 50 50. He let Kane sell out a family diner, Sean Porter, get 50 50. What was you talking about? All of a sudden, you want 60-40, or you want to be the A-side versus Terrence Crawford. Or you want 60-40, but you let Sean Porter? Sean Porter never fill up a, 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 a venue like Crawford fill up in Nebraska. He had never put 13, 14,000 in Master Square Garden like Crawford put up, put up in there. But all of a sudden, you want 60-40 now. Like Crawford, man, Disney throwing out way more money, bro. Yes, Lou Rick E. Bug gotta fight somebody. Tell PBC to send somebody. At the end of the day, it's always, oh, he gotta fight somebody. He gotta do this. He gotta do that. Nigga, he can fight Earl Spence. <laughs> Why can't he fight Earl Spence? Why is Danny Garcia getting a shot? Danny Garcia don't got a belt. Danny Garcia could have beat Terrence Crawford already. He had an opportunity. He had a $4 million guaranteed contract. He could have got fired like Amir Khan got. Get his ass beat too. Y'all know what it is, bro. He get his ass beat too. Look at Keith Thurman. I'm going to need a lot of money to go fight Terrence Crawford. Nigga, get your ass beat too. Niggas with belts not even trying to get belts no more. When Jeff Horn had the belt, Errol Spence wanted to fight him. Terrence Crawford, I mean, uh, Keith Thurman wanted to fight him. Danny Garcia, when, when, when Terrence got the belt, ain't nobody say nothing. Ain't nobody say nothing. Nobody. Nobody said nothing. They got all them fighters over there that need a shot at the belt. You think they? You would think that they put Lippius in, in in a position to be a mandatory and win the purse bid and make Lippius yes versus Bud on PBC, or put Yugas in a position to be the mandatory. Come on, man! I told y'all what it is, man. They said they want no smoke. They don't believe none of their horses can beat that horse.
Why would somebody getting paid three point five every time five, plus more be bitter, bro? Y'all need Earl Spence niggas just out of y'all mind, dude. Y'all know y'all man's a whole pussy, a whole alcoholic pussy at it. A whole alcoholic pussy. Out here sipping lean and, and wearing purses and shit, nigga. Travis Spewer salute. Y'all, you you out here supporting a D a drunk driving, purse wearing, panty, panty wearing, lean sipping, devil's danger playing with his nose ass fighter, nigga. Come on. Take them panties off. Take them panties off. When he gonna take them panties off? <laughs> take them rolling with snitches. He rolling with snitches. Come on, man. What if it was ki his kids out in these streets? He is kid. He out here driving drunk with me and his kids in these streets. He rolling with snitches, wearing purses, rips in his jeans. Take them panties off. Ain't no telling what he do when he get a being in the system. He probably sleep with men too. Drunk during the fight with Sean Porter. No pay-per-view numbers. <laughs> no vital test results. Come on, man. Niggas a whole fraud out here, man. His vital test going to come back 99.9% .9 for cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol. Oh, crackhead ass. Niggas a green light baby. Oh, black lightning looking ass nigga. Oh, Black Lightning ass, nigga. Yeah, I'm frustrated, nigga. Nigga, the best need to fight the best. Y'all happy with a whole crackhead uh, uh, somehow being the face of boxing. What happened y'all calling for Canelo? What happened to Canelo and Spence? What happened to Canelo and Spence? Where would that shit go at? Where that energy at? What happened to Canelo and Spence? Oh, yeah, you out of here. I don't know how the fuck you got a wrench. Get the fuck up out of here. What happened to that Canelo and Spence energy? What happened to that Canelo with Spence energy? What happened to the Canelo and Spence energy? Where'd that go? Surely, surely Sean Porter is on Spence, Canelo level. Canelo ducking everybody. Yeah, okay. What, what Earl Spence doing then? <laughs> what Earl Spence doing then? What Earl Spence doing then? If, if ducking everybody, Floyd Mayweather, Austin Trout, McGill Cotto, Gennady Golovkin, Danny Jacobs, Sergey Cole, if that's ducking, if that's ducking, what Earl Spence doing, bro? He got one man to beat. He got one man to beat, Terrence Crawford. He ain't got an Andre. He ain't got a Charlo. He ain't got a Triple G trilogy. He ain't got to beat Keith Thurman. Don't nobody care if he beat Pacquiao. Nobody care for that fight. He got one man to beat. Terrence Crawford. One man to beat. Chris Ray salute. He got one man to beat. He running from one dude. A dude that got rock bang on board. A dude who ain't never fought nobody. A dude from Nebraska. A dude that ain't never had a real fight in his life. Let y'all tell it. He ducking one. He got one guy to beat. That's it. Damian Pencil. He got one guy to beat. He got one guy to beat. He the greatest fighter of all time. Take them panties off. Take them panties off. He got one fighter to beat. One. We only talking about one fighter. Terrence Crawford win. He ain't got feet. He got, being Pacquiao don't mean nothing. He been stopped, dropped, beat. He got one fighter to beat. When it was Broner rocking around here drinking Ace of Spade bottles and oh, Broner, come on. He got one fighter to beat. One. Ain't nobody ain't a Charlo, ain't a Triple G, it ain't a, ain't a Andre. He got one fighter to beat. You got the, and the Spence fan got the audacity, the audacity to say, oh, Canelo duck it. Eh, get out of here. Get out of here. A uh, Earl Spence man fan should never put duck and no other fighter in the same sentence. None of them. 
Aero Spence fans be trying to go on here. Oh, uh, Leo Santa Cruz needs to do this, and Canelo need to stop ducking him, and AJ need to stop ducking Deontay, and this guy need to do this guy, and Billy Joe need. Man, y'all got the man. You better shut up. <laughs> Coffee Universe Spence next ring song uh, song will be Cisco Thong song. <laughs> it be killing me. Aero Spence fans should be the last fans talking about. Oh, Tank need to do this, and Noma need to do this, and move up. And and this guy need to do this and do that. Man, I'll laugh. Man, I don't want to hear none of y'all say. Take them panties off before y'all before y'all get to speaking, bro. Take them panties off. <laughs> For real. You need to do this and he need to do that. Take them panties off. They be killing me with that shit. He need to do this and he... Come on, y'all. That Errol Spence fan should be the last one. He got one guy to fight. One guy to fight. He be one guy. He in the Hall of Fame. He be Terrence Crawford. Come on, Errol Spence fan should duck and Errol Spence fan shouldn't be saying nothing. You ain't gonna hear me saying, oh, this guy is a duck, and I say that guy duck. I'm consistent. I'll be the first to be on Canelo head, but okay, nobody in boxing criticized Canelo other than Manny Pacquiao. That's it. That's the only guy I can criticize and I can think of, and some of the smaller guys. Yeah, Jay, you are the easy route. Oh, Bob Aaron won't give Pacquiao to his top guy Crawford, neither will Al Heyman. Come on, man. Fight Danny Garcia next. Nigga, come on. This the same PBC network. This the same PBC network that that Floyd Mayweather calling fighters to say, "Stop picking on my fighter." Come on. Damn, Demetrio Gordo said, "I think Spence should be stripped of all belts for driving all drunk and putting people's life in danger. He's supposed to be a role model. Every other sports athletes get fined or kicked out the league. Thing about it is, ain't no." Uh, government body ain't no universal or international government body so or national government body so that ain't gonna happen but they're threatening to find uh, 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 Wilder for saying he'd kill a man in the ring then he gonna sleep Earl with the left hook oh Wood I'm glad you walked up in this motherfucker today my nigga Wood y'all go subscribe to this nigga what you think about Canelo and uh and Earl Spence who you got now bro I'm glad this nigga walked up in here you was on my mind bro in the middle, who you got, man? Wood, Canelo, or Can uh, Earl Spence right now, bro? Who you got? Before I get off here so I can go live, I'm going to take Miles for a walk around the corner for a minute so he can go piss on some shit. Yeah, I want to hear this. Y'all can chime in, too. Who y'all got Canelo Earl Spence right now? Canelo, yeah. You was criticizing me and shit. Yeah, I was. Yeah, okay, I can respect it. I can respect Jamal Berry salute. I can respect it. You was telling me, you, you you don't know what you're talking about. I told you, man, take them panties off. <laughs> take them panties off. Tell that nigga Earl, take them panties off. Take the panties off, fight Bud. Take them off. He in a strip club party and this shit. Take them panties off. Danny put asses in the seats. Tiger Joe, salute. Take them panties off. Tell them, take them panties off. Let me see that thong. Let me see that thong. That thong, 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 thong. Take them panties off, bro. Don't put them hangs on. Let me see that thong. Na, 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 Earl, take them panties off and unleash the dragon, bro. He ain't gonna fight him, bro. I don't think that's gonna happen. But I know he's fighting Danny still next. Canelo versus Earl will be a war until Canelo KO him. I, don't, I can't wait to Canelo Kovalev, bro. I'm putting some money on Kovalev, bro. I got a feeling. I might be wrong. But if they really fight with no catchweight, bro, and, that, and no rehydration clause, man... Kovalev might sleep. If Kovalev sleep that nigga, Kovalev sleep Canelo, bro. 
Man, I ain't gonna never forget that racist shit he said though, man. That nigga going that nigga might can come to a he might can come to an interracial barbecue, nigga. He can come to an interracial, he can't be invited to the full black barbecue. But he definitely going into Goodfella Hall of Fame, bro. He going into the Hall of Fame, bro. For sure. He going to the he going into the Goodfella Hall of Fame. Him, uh Wilder, uh the they going they going into my 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 level one Hall of Fame. Canelo get ice, man. I'm i man. I'm celebrating, bro. I'm popping bottles. I'm popping bottles that night. I ain't drunk alcohol in so long. I'm popping liquor. I'm going Errol Spence. I'm taking panties off that night. Somebody panties getting took off. Free cash, respect, works for it, black. Well, you be off sometime. Earl ain't ducking nobody. It's bread and politics. No, it's always bread. When you say you your own boss, bro. Appreciate the uh, super chat. You say you your own boss. Ain't no politics, bro. You move how you want to move. You your own boss. It ain't no bread. The money there. Earl Spence ain't make no money versus Sean Porter for real. Where the pay-per-view numbers at? He ain't getting the money they say he, well, Fred say he get. He ain't getting no money. ESPN pay Amir Khan and Crawford ten mil, almost $10 million in guaranteed pay-per-view money. 5.5 to Terrence and 5 and a million to uh, Amir Khan. So you telling me a dude that just fought for $2 million a piece with, 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 with Sean Porter and probably like what? Two point five, three million guarantee versus Mikey Garcia. And you telling me five million guarantee ain't good enough? Ain't no money, dog. I'm telling you what I know. What I heard is his coach said he's not ready. They don't think they can win. What I heard from yesterday from top ranked people, Al Hammond don't think he got a horse in the stable that can beat him. So they're not willing to make that fight. I'm telling y'all what it is, dog. This ain't just me uh, guessing. This ain't me guessing. This is this is known shit. This is known. I ain't, I ain't got the damn. I can't get down with if you prove a race. Now he says, you know the Donny Stevenson. He looks like Monkey Boy. He looks like Monkey Boy. <laughs> Please believe a lot of them dudes, man. They say Mexicans. I seen some that say Mexicans hate blacks just as much as whites. I don't know how true it was, but I can believe it. I'm not talking about some of my Mexican homies here, but it was a study, Sean. But yeah, Kovalev uh, called Stevenson a monkey. And then he allegedly called a ward the N-word or something. I don't know. But yeah, he beat Canelo. I ain't forgiving that, but hey. But, but that's all I'm saying, bro. Yeah, yeah, I like Kovalev. Yeah, Kovalev, I like the way he fight. He fight anybody because he didn't get no money. But it, you know it is it is what it is, man. But I'm telling y'all, man, that's that that's man. When that's when I hopped off the Earl Spence freight. That's what I hopped off for when I heard that shit, and I heard it from multiple people, dog. They don't want to fight the dude. Don't think he could beat Crawford. They don't want to fight him. They don't think he's ready. I couldn't believe it at the time, neither, bro. And then I, somebody that, that worked close with PBC told me the same thing. They don't think they can win. Then I heard from top-ranked people yesterday said the same thing. I don't even think he got a guy that can beat him. It's legit that Bob Aaron think he got the best fighters in the world and Lomachenko and Crawford. I didn't believe it at first neither. But I got people that don't even know each other. You know what I'm saying? I got people that don't even know each other like like Showbiz had that uh, uh interview with Chico and shit. I seen him uh premiere that shit. Everything he said I already knew. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even be at the fights and I and I, I can tell you Jaime next fight and I and I'll make a video. I can tell you Jaime McGuire next fight. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you a lot of shit I, I don't say though. A lot of shit I don't say. And I don't even go to the fights. I got a drop from Tony Harrison, never met the guy. I got a drop from uh Deontay Wilder, never met the guy. He gave me a shout out, never met him. Was just dropping by to see go to bed, going to bed, peace. Where the fuck you, you a midnight worker or some shit, nigga? You work hard today, bro. Appreciate it, though, Beauty Dig. I think the fight is 50 50. I don't. I've been very vocal about it. When people were saying Wilder and, Wilder and AJ was a 50 50 fight, I told you that's a 1 2. It's not a 50 50 fight. It's not. 
if Crawford get older, it will be. Or if he get dropped or some shit, it, it could be. It probably be less than 50, 50, 50, But it ain't no fifty fifty fight. If you know what you're looking for, Earl really just only got a puncher's chance. <laughs> Earl can't deal with that that movement. You know what I'm saying? But what's funny about it is I think Keith Thurman, and I'm about to get off, and I'm gonna go live for the Baturbia fight. But I think Keith Thurman is a tough fight, tough fight, or at his best. I think even as best, I thought Keith Thurman was a tough, a uh, hard fight for Terrence Crawford, but I thought Keith Thurman was an easy fight for Errol Spence. So Styles make fights. Crawford you get in there and beat the shit out of Sean Porter, but he get in there and Ugas and lose or have a tough fight. It, you know, different styles make fights. You know, he get in there and beat the shit out of Errol Spence, and he go fight Keith Thurman like I said, and, and he lose. And that's what made Hagler, Hearns, and Leonard, and and all them so good. Uh, uh, Duran, and and you had all of them. Uh, any given moment, a lot of those could, a lot of guys could have beat each other. If Hearns and, and Leonard was a ten round fight, twelve round fight, Hearns would have won by a landslide. And a lot of people don't know that's how Sugar Ray Leonard got his eye fucked up. Tommy Hearns uh, fucked up Sugar Ray eye in like the first fight. You know, anything can happen. You know, Ray Ray beat Duran. I mean, Duran beat Ray. Then Ray beat Duran. Tommy Hearns knocked him out. I ain't never seen a nigga get knocked out from the front and fall on his face. But that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Then, no. You know, I mean, you got a lot of good fighters, man, out there, man. But if they all fought each other, a loss wouldn't be nothing. Sean Porter stock still got on pay-per-view with, what, two, two losses in the draw? It, to, to me, a loss to Terrence Crawford ain't catastrophic for Errol Spence. And a, I think a loss to Errol Spence ain't catastrophic for Terrence Crawford. Because then you still can beat up on Regis. You still can beat up on Kelly. You still can dominate the next wave of welterweights. And then Earl can move up and he can he can do some things with those guys. Those guys ain't Terrence Crawford up there. J-Rock is a really good fighter, but you know he ain't like on Crawford level yet. He's been beaten. He's been dropped with a jab. Erickson Lubin, good fighter. But guess what? He's been traumatized. He's been knocked out. You know, Tony Harrison, he's been stopped twice. We know that he fade down the stretch. You know what I'm saying? So, any, any, I mean, it ain't no shame to losing. But you know where the shame come in at before I log off? The shame come in is when you marinate and when you duck and you run and you hide or, or you prolong a fight and the fight build up to the point and you lose. Then, you know, then and Blackie was ducking. Had Mayweather lost to Pacquiao, it would have been worse than what he would, if he would have just fought him and lost to him in 2009 because people thought he was ducking. Bob Aaron manipulated the media. Losing to O ain't nothing because Styles make fights. Sean Porter, is, is his stock is high as, it, is high as it ever been. Think about that for a minute. Sean Porter has never been more popular than he is now. Y'all, y'all notice that? Sean Porter got how many L's? Three? Sean Porter has never been more popular than what he is now. Sean Porter got several. Sean Porter off a loss is is at, at he's a he he is one of the most pop, he's more popular than he ever been. You know why? Because at the end of the day, nobody care if Sean lost or Errol lost. Like, everybody that purchased that fight or seen that fight won. People want to see Sean Porter more than they want to see him again. So, that's just worth wisdom, dude. Appreciate it, man. About to tap out, man. I'm going to go live for the Baturbi and Ghost Food fight, man. Uh, appreciate the love support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the videos. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code good for the one box which 18% off. Appreciate the love support one time for the one time. We going to don't forget if you want to make a donation while we ain't live, that link's always in the description. Uh best way to donate, just share the video for your boy. We go.